lovely. No, nothing at all. I am going down to Bristol at the weekend for a week, so I figure I'll have some week. celebrations. That'll be good. Yeah, record some stuff and see everyone. It's Mike's birthday and stuff, so. I'd uh, tell you about this. I had a very awkward situation the other day. Uh, are, are you happy I was... to talk about it live on the internet? I'm very happy to talk about it live on the internet. Literally fives of viewers. Literal fives of viewers can listen to this. I was stalking uh, some of my ex schoolmates on oh, yeah. Facebook, as you do sometimes. And I realized, you know what? Why don't I just try stalking them on LinkedIn, see what they're up to? And obviously, they all have premium, and three of them added me because they saw me looking at their profiles. Oh, dear. <laughs> like, I don't even know how to handle this. <laughs> Still three more connections. I'm building up the network. Oh. I don't know what for, but there will be What is it up to now? Uh, let me check, actually. I think it's like 30 or something. Excuse me, sir, but it's time to It is go. 26. Powerful. Dr. Jonah tirait bad just trois ubed for 75 months, 75 mois de pure joie avec l'œuf parlant, et maintenant, le tournoi yeah. de la maison. His dote is down for a second. It's Excellent. been restored. It's here. Did you get the invite? Yup. <laughs> oh, he's in. I'm in. <clears throat> well. So, our vid went out today, Joe. Ten seconds yep. remaining. I'm very happy with it. I think people liked it. Nice. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, it was a good one. Dire team bell. Merci, Dr. Jonas. Merci. Ugh. Ten seconds. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck. Playing this bloody strategy Five game. I don't know why I do this to myself. Play these World War II strategy games. Hex based kind of things. Mm. That's fucking Excuse impossible. Me, sir, but it's time to goose. Old Jurancius 94 just was ubed for 20 months. Opinion to disgust viewers of game 2 or 3 later. Much love in advance. Thank you, old Gerontius. Um, so it's just, it's just fucking, this game is just fucking impossible. What game is it? It's called Unity of Command 2. And it's just, Radiant this is what gets, what I, what I got used to playing Dota. So when I hit you with a spell, I know what it's going to do. There's not a huge amount of randomness to Dota. And the more you play games like that, or oh, like Elden Ring or whatever, you know, or, or any of these games, the the more random they get. Joe, oh, I'm echoing through your All headset. Right. Um, you you know you 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 get a battle and the odds calculator says, oh, you're gonna win this, and you take the fight, and in fact you lose it and it's calamity. And you think it's not like I could just go, oh well, we'll get him next time. Like the whole scenario fails now based on this one fucking dice roll. And it's just it's just frustrating. I don't know why they make these games like this. They fuck it. these guys love it. It's like, oh was also like, they've managed to hold the bridge at call. That is a surprise. Oh, there goes the attack. You're like, yeah, but that's fucking an hour worth of scenario up the shit because of one dice roll. The game shouldn't come down to that. It's daft. And I do like they call the, you know, because Warhammer, Total War Warhammer used to have that issue mm. where the auto resolve could just fuck you. Yeah. And over time, they finally got the message that it's much more fun when they just show you the end result. Yeah. And you can decide, and it's just much better now. Um, yeah. Still has the same problem, it just gets boring eventually, but the, at least that problem, tick. I mean, it, yeah, so just, th this does show you the expected result. It's like you will lo have no losses. And they will take four losses. And you're like, perfect. And then you have the fight, and it's a calamity. And there's there's kind of a... There's no visible dice rolls. So you just yeah. get given this oh. result, and you're like, oh. So I can't even be like, oi, my luck. You're like, did I do that something even wrong? Hit the gamba addiction. Yeah, so there's, there's just nothing. It's frustrating. I mean, D Darkest yeah, Dungeon is frustrating enough, but but you get some bullshit in your favour as well. Whereas this is just, it's just all, oh, it's just so frustrating. Excuse but I'll be playing it again tomorrow. But it's time to are you continuing the uh, Darkest Dungeon run? Uh, uh, maybe. maybe. Or are you, you running out of will to continue? Because I've heard past a certain point, it just becomes an endless grind. It really There's does. not like a smooth pass to success. No, and I'd say the other bad thing is, you get a group up to level four, and I mean, I, I keep coming back to XCOM, because it was so fucking perfect, is... 
you get the lads up to a certain level, you're like, great, now we can take on these hard missions and succeed. And if we fail, it'll be because I fucked up or maybe yeah. some really bad pull or something like that. Sometimes you get those calamities, but that's Even okay. Even though at least, you know, you could have played a bit safer or you can, right. you can pull some shit to get out a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life. Whereas Darkest Dungeon is like, oh, this is just impossible now. And I just had a really bad turn followed by another bad turn. And now my entire party is insane. They turn on each yeah. other. They've lost hope. You're like, well, that's that then. And that was a lot of runs to get these lads up there. And now I lose all the trinkets. I lose all the gold. I get nothing for this run. So, yeah, it, it does hit that point where it gets grindy, which is, I think, what they were trying to solve with the newer version, where it's like, it doesn't matter. Every run's yeah. going to fail until you finally beat the game with this one run. Um, <clears throat> so it's meant to be hard, but fear not, because you don't lose, you know, you lose all those guys, everything, but the progress that you've Dying made for the next run will make that yeah. one, you'll get a little further each time. So it's the yeah, same yeah. grind, but not quite as soul crushing when you lose your A team. But yeah, I've, I've always get to the same point. I get to the point where you have to do the really hard dungeons. And all the guides I've read online are like, remaining. you know, you've got to literally min-max the fuck out of your party to have Five a chance. And I'm just remaining. like, I, I'm not a min-maxy kind of guy. I don't yeah. know. So, for XCOM, I quite like the system where you, you when you get later into the game, you start recruiting quite strong people yourself. Yeah. It doesn't always, you're not always getting in the level one lads. Right, right. Does Darkest Dungeon do that, or is it always going to be, so you're you, just hiring some scrub? No, you, you upgrade the, the cart, the wagon... Yeah. And then you start getting higher level lads. So as I understand yeah. it, every time you level up the wagon, because that was the, the most important thing I read, and I kind of felt this was probably true, was that I your heroes don't that. really matter. Like, they, you, you want them to do well, and you, you end up thinking, oh, that's the guy and everything, because he got you out of a jam. But they are disposable, because you can just get new ones. Yeah. What, what's not disposable, and which is what is permanent, is the settlement. So leveling up the settlement, getting all that leveled up, that is far more important than anything else. Excuse me, sir, but it's time to goose. Merci. Wow, some heroes you don't see. Table tire bad just for Zubed for 21 months. Apparently, snap, 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 is, snap is dead, I think. Zeus you see occasionally. Lion, I see banned all the fucking time. Whenever I want to play, Lion is banned. I think it's yeah. the suck. <laughs> the suck is a bit too like hard to deal with in lane. Yeah. It's just... Uh, He's just solid every game. Why? Yeah. He never used to be. He used to be in the bin. He did, and but then they gave him the suck. suck. Yeah, <laughs> and, they suck. Him. and they even nerfed it and he's still fine. Do you think it's the magic immune thing when you get shard that is too punishing or not? No. I think it... Lion's weakness is always... Once he has a blink, he has this amazing pick off set. Mm. That really, him plus one hero can kill anyone on the map at a certain point in the game. Yeah. Uh, the downside of him is his laning was dog shit. His yeah, stuns do no fucking damage. He has no health. His stats are awful. His stat game is terrible. His movement speed is catastrophic yeah and now it doesn't really matter because if you stun into suck you're winning most trades yeah so they, they've helped that weakness and he still remains this crazy solo pick off like support that can make a play on the map what do you think they do uh i mean i mean so, to I, be fair though you didn't see him picked in the pro scene and they generally no, you, nerf around that I, d I think he was stronger last patch i think mm. he's actually in a pretty okay spot where he's not like every single game it's a lion yeah. It's not like um, it's not like CM was last patch. Right? Like yeah. the C patch, he got nerfed quite heavily. So his shard yeah. resistance got his magic resist was eighty percent. It's now sixty percent. Yeah. Do you know the funniest yeah. fucking patch note for this most recent one? Chen's because Valve knew Chen were really was really really stupidly broken. Yeah. They even put a little joke in about it. They said in the, when they were writing up like the summary or whatever the blog post, they said brackets Chen is gonna deserve this or whatever the fuck it was. They didn't nerf him at all. They took like three armor off of his most OP passive, and everything else stayed exactly the same. Yeah. You're like what? You're joking about how OP this guy is, and you do nothing to him. He's still first ban every single game in the pro scene. What, what is that? Be, then maybe they're reworking him for the like big update. Think, Maybe, I but you can't. They have, so they just can't be bothered. You can't to... drop in a. Do you think they wrote the blog post before they did the patch? They're like, yeah, it's going to be the big patch. We can put the joke in and they just forget to take it out. Maybe. So uh, I, I, I was chatting at, at Dream League. I was saying, is it possible to fix the hero? Or is it mm. conceptually busted? Is it just too fucking good? 
Um, and I think generally they were like, well, you'd have to nerf too much to really yeah. nerf the hero. Because the thing is, you're not really just nerfing Chen. You're nerfing creeps. And if you nerf okay. the creeps... Well, what if Chen has to mount the creep? <laughs> <laughs> well, a mini game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Red Dead Redemption event, or something. And then he swaps out his in-game mount to a, a creep. I don't know and then what he gets the different solution spells is. based on what creep he's riding. I mean, I, I said seems... that I, I felt that his dominate creep should be his ult and should be slightly better because that way the hero mm. could still be useful, but he wouldn't be as strong in lane. But then the problem is in lane, he's just a lad who remaining. really doesn't do anything. So you'd yeah. need to buff something else. Five so then remaining. does he become too strong once he hits six? I think that here's a solution. To be honest with you, Radiant team Visage manages in lane without his little back. lads, right? He doesn't get them till later, does he? He gets the birds at six. He gets birds at yeah. six. So you turn Chen into a core. If the concept is too strong for a support, you make him a core. And you make him Dyer too strong to back. be a support. You get items on him, everything. You make him a core hero. I think that's the only way to go. So we just have another core zoo hero. I, I think the nerf I would like is they get rid of him getting the gold bounty for taking a creep hmm. because previous old old Chen he had his little place you know he was a little zoo lad he'd push a bit early on and then he'd fall off Five he'd fall off remaining. but now these fucking Chens have eight items because they can farm every camp they can take over every creep get the gold bounty for it and then use it to farm and they just turn up with six aura items and tell you to go fuck yourself for the entire game yeah, and on top of that they get to the fucking shard well. and can take ancients and this big granite lad gives you, what, 17% plus health or some shit like that? How much does he give, actually? I guess we can't check at this point. Uh, uh, he rocks up with many aura items, and a, an aura that gives you plus 8% max health. You can't touch him. You can't touch him. So get rid of that farming so he can zoo. He can zoo, but he can't dominate. But then maybe it makes him too bad again, because that old Chen was real, real niche. Yeah. Five seconds remaining. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it out there. Jug is the worst hero in Dota 2 right now, mm. so worry to see him picked. But he's easy, so for, he is easy. Uh, for bad people, he's pretty good. He's easy and terrible. I don't know quite why they've gone with him. Uh, I think they, they assume spread. against Timber, he can just spin and get away, but it, it won't work. Is it a Larry? <laughs> just... Is it a Larry thing? It might be a Larry thing. Is this a butler elk? No, it's mid. No. They're going, and they're going, we're going to get early ags on our line mid. No. <laughs> oh, I mean, that would be yeah. fucking funny. Yeah, if they we're going to get that. an early ags for our no, top these lads, lane. These lads aren't like your stacks. They don't have a fucking Bane core picker every game. You know, <laughs> they stick to what the rules. Uh, what do you mean? What? <laughs> we, we actually, my favorite part of that game. It, who is it? That, it's not Taff, is it? The place Games. that... James, Sansby. he will not hear a word against the core bane. And my favorite part was, only reason we won that game, because we somehow had stumbled into having two cores elsewhere that were actual characters. We had Sniper and Void, right? Yeah. And the bane was like, that lane, him, I've never heard in a Joe stack of falling out in the lane as much as <laughs> that lane with him and Paul. That was like... <laughs> They were literally no longer mates because of that lane. <laughs> then they made up. It was one of those real friendship enders of a lane where Paul was like, you're up too far. And he's like, what? And it's like, you've seen the weakness of the Warlock Bane lane. is so oh. bad, but that n there was no way that he would admit that, that, that it was just a horrifically bad idea. You know, Cinny was saying, oh man, guys, I might have finally got this guy out of playing Bane mids. And he leaves no. the stack instantly. <laughs> oh, he's found the loophole. I've told him not to play Bane mids. So he's gone Bane yeah. Pos 1. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a good win rate on the Pos 1 Bane. He's got, got a good win rate. <laughs> not a call with us, Bane uh, picking Pos 1s on the off lane. It's not, not the correlation. Monkey. No, 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 no. no. Dad, I feel like. Uh... This is an interesting old uh, draw. Oh, a glasses lion. Here we fucking go. An Amos on the Zeus. Arc D Marcy. I'm trying to remember which of these is going to be core. Well, Dan is clearly off lane. This yeah, it's... Amos it's, mid, maybe? It's got to be an Amos mid. Against David on streets. That's a pretty fair matchup, actually, because... This, I don't is, think, this actually, is fine. David, David Maven, he's, he's been getting better. He's been... I saw him on stream this morning with you. He was doing a bit he of performing did, yeah, in Oracle. He was doing some stuff, yeah. 
I mean, especially because Uhiri wasn't that familiar with. Normally, that's the mm. death of the goon. But he, he yeah. did all right. He did okay. I will say, um, I just I just copy whatever Yatero does. And Yatero <laughs> is a Monkey King spam. <clears throat> so I'm going to assume Monkey King is a good hero. Um, yeah. I've tried him a bit. He doesn't feel amazing, but I trust Yatero. I mean, I think a big part of it is he can zip around, right? He can move around. Yeah. His ult is always good. Um, I think with farm, he's still a strong hero. Very hard to trade with. So the new the new build is you go first item Gleipnir, and you can sort of lock someone down in your ult early on pretty well. Interesting. Mm. What I want to know about... more cores don't get Gleipnir, to be honest. It's yeah, it's a good item. You just you just sacrifice... Mjolnir is also good is the problem. Yeah. You sacrifice quite a lot when you get Gleipnir. So Squiggle says, what I want to know about Chen Doom Ench is how the hell is Harpy allowed to zap so hard? It's That's hard. a fair question. It's a Harpy, isn't it? It's a bloody harpy. You ever fought a harpy, mate? Pretty were you were you around Squidgel when it gave like two thousand flying vision with no <laughs> cooldown? Oh god, that was ridiculous. That was a fucking so patch. So dumb. <laughs> I'm so glad I wasn't high rank enough for it to actually be a problem. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I uh, I should talk Valve's just like patching and decision making a lot. This new uh, Q system is the best thing they've ever introduced to the it's game. It's really nice, huh? It's so yeah. good. Because you could just be like, it says, this is a good match. You're like, you know what? That sounds great. This, Every match this I've played so match. far with this new system has been perfectly balanced, really tense. Same. And win or lose has been really fun. Same. Every just... game I've had has been a wide skill bracket <laughs> yeah variety and like yeah. yes perfect on both teams perfect that's how i like to play yep my herald made them divine on the pause one that's yeah. that's how we do it oh dusky 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 dusk. always love judging a tusk larry llama emma roids poor larry why is glasses his chud dot glasses? Chud. Chud. Because he's a bit of a chud. He is a bit of a chud. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was a choice for me. Oh, <laughs> Molto, Molto yes. Bene. You gotta try it. You do gotta try it. That was, uh, that was some block. Arc D. Four, br five branches. Is this the build? Universal, yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Maybe. Although I'd probably go early bracer rather than, than just two branches. But. Maybe. Maybe it's fine. Glasses is going to get punched. Punch. Fascinating lane. Four melee. You don't see that very often. It's always an entertaining mm -hmm. lane, though, when you get that. I do love a bit of a quad melee lane. Which, which lane are you looking at for quad melee? The, the, the lion who's got lion. boxing gloves on uh, today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, just, he's just standing in melee. It's just Don't get big, confused. Just, I haven't got my <laughs> glasses on, apparently. <laughs> I am the chud. Bop. I mean, it's crazy how little damage the lion Q does. 105. That's that's after buffs. It used to be less. Yeah, it used to be even less. Punch. Punch. Must be a sad lion, if they're paying attention. No? Okay. Yeah, then I should. I do. I can see. The, I guess the concept of this lane is you put the life steal on MK, and then he doesn't really have to care ever about Tusk. No. I mean, Marcy with a melee hero as a partner is always a good combo. Yeah. Because your, your your buddy's running in makes it easy to land the jumps. Who's getting the farm in this lane? G Font, stop fucking doing it! Is he blasting? I mean, just rando right clicks. The, the goons do it oh. all the time. It's because they've got auto attack on. They would never admit it, but they clearly do. Well done, Vidicus. Ruined the poll, and now it's been saved. Excellent. Radiant's top tower is under attack. All right. I'm a, I'm a, I've got a cold at the moment, chap, so apologies if I'm a little... Less chatty than usual. I need you boys oh, to, to right. carry the cast. Mm. <clears throat> Did you see June 2 yet, Joe? I can't remember if you said you had or not. I have not, no. Okay, well, you need to see it. 
because me and Plague enjoyed a lot of June 2 chat last week. And I'm the kind of oh. guy that now just waits for it to get... Oh, Amos! I mean, he's got jump of ah! Should be fine. Actually, try to turn it around? Why didn't, he get, why didn't he get any of those last hits? He didn't even try! It was try. really impressive, right? He stopped, he hesitated on every single one and missed them all. Does he know that the acid kills you? Bonk! Hey, Punch. Oh, I missed a kill. The glasses should have gone to spec savers. Didn't. Oh, oh. Glasses, I think, greeting for the Lotus. The Marcy nearby. Oh, yeah, I know. He's... Yeah. He's level one. Well, they are level one. You're glasses. What you came for. Amos. Yes. Oh, this is a nice eye shots. Where's that? That's a nice eye shot. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. I think the suck was on a creep though. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so I couldn't slow him to get the kill. Shame. <clears throat> the lads do find clicking difficult. I do wonder, do they use computers in their job? And how often are they like, whatever you do, don't click delete all, because you'll you'll delete all the files for ten years of of hard work building up our <laughs> customer base. <laughs> And there's like, oh, I'm so I okay, I'm so okay. I deleted all of my Yogg's Cars work. Oh, really? I was employed there. Yeah, my cat sat on my keyboard, selected all my files, and deleted them. <laughs> and I had to restore so, like, two, two years. It was like since COVID, it was basically COVID uh, lockdown files. Oh, my goodness. Files. It's like two years of work on a hard drive just got deleted oh, by my cat. That's unbelievable. We, yeah, well, we've not had any technical issues there. as bad as that, but uh, yeah. someone I work with was sending a presentation oh, in PDF to uh, these people for a meeting. Oh, and what? somehow what? going down. Hold, Hold that thought, young play. I'm holding it. Pulling back. We got some lice up from the monkey Bang. and a clonk. What's the of yeah, this lane is un unplayable for Tuscan alone, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, he was sending it as a PDF, and he somehow just sent a screenshot of, like, PowerPoint. Oh, cookie top as well. A screenshot of the PowerPoint. The yeah, he, he just sent a screenshot, not even... of just the PowerPoint, like, main menu. <laughs> and, like, the first slide. And that's all that was sent. It was like, greetings all, we finished the presentation for you, have a look. And it was just a screenshot of PowerPoint, <laughs> like, in the PDF. Oh, I, don't know how he, I don't know how he managed it. It was pretty impressive. Uh, so when I was doing the uh, podcast with Suns fan and Cinder in the other day, since Suns fan meant to send me a link, and he just sent me somehow a picture of a link. <laughs> How? I don't. I think How? he must have just done Control S and like Control Windows S to screenshot, yeah. rather than to send the link. But it was. I was like, this he was like, I sent you the thing. link, and I looked at it, and I was clicking on it. It was just All opening the image. Spot. We got a rotation down from Llama trying to jump on the turf. Man, it's a dead Rubik. Burst. Easy. I uh, I watched that podcast actually. It was pretty good. Kill. Pretty good. Oh! What the uh the the podcast? Yeah, yeah. It was. We they're things. good lads, aren't they? They're lovely. Yeah. I mean, me and Shannon get on very well, and me and Trolls. His whole thing is me and him playing pool. That's something that we've done for <laughs> literally ten years. As every time we meet up at an event, we try and play pool together. Even though I, I'm not very good, he's clearly better than me. But I, I have perfected the defensive break. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Aggressive, trying to get glasses down, but we got big Ooh, down. Ooh, nice little King. juke. He's trying to get some nice up. They might be able to get glasses. There's a little bit of click. Nice stun, oh. Runky King. Can they get a little bit more damage? Monkey running, getting blocked a little bit by the creeps. Jump, jump, jump. One more. Yes! Oh. Jumps up the trees, but gets oh, stunned. Oh, the stun. Now getting stunned. <laughs> but it's not enough. Oh, my God. And now Ark in trouble. Has jump available. Go for the yoga. Yeah! Stun coming in. Oh, well, they go for the dive now. No. Couldn't, couldn't clink MK. So weird. I'm going to assume that was their fault rather than Valve's, but maybe. Maybe that was a bug. Sure. Um, I think it was a mischief, like, swapping in and out, maybe. I couldn't click him either. I think that was when he got stunned by, uh, yeah, it was probably mischief.
But yeah, the, the anecdote I found the funniest, Ted, is the idea of Ice Rock sending you patch notes. <laughs> I know. That's so I fucking know. funny. Those, those were the days <laughs> oh. when I was somewhat respected member of the community. <laughs> But also, that, that's how you know there just weren't that many people on the scene. Because they were like, yeah. who are we going to send notes to? Uh, send the period. He might have some ideas. He doesn't know the name of the heroes yet, but... <laughs> <laughs> it was when they removed Sacrifice. So whichever patch that was, that was the last time I ever heard from, from Ice Frog. I think... Well, maybe it, it might have been... You know what? Actually, I remember the exact change. They changed Lich so that Frost Blast was more AoE damage and less single target. Yes. And I said right. that was a nerf, and he was like, that's a buff, what are you talking about? And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> See, you've only stuck to really safe uh, cookie counter comments, you know? Yes. You could have still it. had an Good in job. with Ice Frog that to this day. Great work, yeah. thumbs up. Big nerf on Chen, that'll make all the difference. Oh! Ooh! Oh! Got the control. Glasses, you son of a bitch. You must suck. You must suck. Glasses! The support should not be the first person out. <laughs> Luckily, they made it. I mean, I think if our range support's leading the charge out, that's my thing. Yes! Amos! Tips. Holy shit. 27 CS in a dream. I need to fucking get to the kill. Got it. Oh god. How did that pull not work? Dyer's middle tower. Why are they not killing the There it is. Yeah, there you go. It's 75 oh, jump bot. It's another big stun from Glasses, to be honest. He is, he's actually kind of <coughs> carrying this lane a little bit. Yes, Glasses. Yeah. Oh, and up top, Jug, dead. I've been playing a bit of Timber. That is a fun hero. Yeah, he's great. Have you done the, the Blink build? Yeah. Oh, you just, so I, we were up against, like, triple strength cores, and I last picked <laughs> Timber <laughs> like a shitter. I was like, uh, well, let me see. They've got an offlane Wraith King. They've got a Pudge. What else did they have? Someone else. I was like, and then I think they last picked a strength mid of some kind. I was like, oh, okay. Yes, glasses. Oh, no, still... glasses! He's, he's making seven back. plays. How long? No. Uh, Am I going to trade for it? No. 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 Enough life steal. It's looking, uh, looking rough. Well, yeah, they're down nine and one, and they have a timber that they really don't have any counter for. No. Additional problem: they have an elk, and they're down on gold at ten minutes. And they That's also have a jug, time. and it's super duper jug. Lord it's God. Kind of crazy when you click on jug, and he's he's an agility hero, bless him. He's not very smart. He doesn't have much of the intelligence, and his his spell at level one costs 140 mana. Yeah, it's, it how is, is that? Fucking it ever, is insane. How is this hero ever going to be pickable? This needs to be like 60 or something. <laughs> you cast it once, and you're just done with the lane. Yeah, you're fucked. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for the sub. Oh dear. Tomps. Quoi, qu'il aurait eu que just trop zubed pour 35 mods. 164 livres et 65 pence ce pour jeter. Bonk. Can Monkey King hate that hero? Well, top ah! the stun comes out from out. Oh, hello. Oh, oh my god, the shot. Middle tower is under attack. A lot of damage. Oh, don't watch the lads try to last hit, Joe. Don't ever watch it. It will fill your soul with sadness. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do. Do you remember that I, I coached Dav once a week? <laughs> True. I take it back. Yeah. Where is he? Uh, where's he up to on the A to Z? What are we on? Um... B. B. Oh? <laughs> oh, we're not Oracle, I think. Oh wait, no. I think we did Oracle. He played he Oracle in one of my games, so I felt like he was practicing. He enjoyed it. Had a good time. <clears throat> Did Rubik play the return Chakram? No, it, it just gives you Chakram, I think. 
yeah, it's it, it gives you a return check and when you chuck it out. Um, so is it it's OD next then? Should be around that era. I can't remember whether we've done Oracle. It's, we might still be on Nyx Assassin as well. So that's a hard hero to win with. That's yeah. 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 I, I think a hard hero to mind flare with. Oh, oh here we go. Shit, Amos, what are you this doing is, here, son? Uh, Zeusy boy in trouble. Nice little cookie, but not gonna be enough for now, our little Marty friend. Larry! Getting some damage out. La Larry! Larry! Oh, Action down, big damage with the timber. Come with a little bit of slow. Getting nice. stunned again. Oh, nice from... Glasses is on it, and another cookie. Oh, the <laughs> big old burst. Stop that. Run, glasses! Spectacles! <laughs> Run! <laughs> I would say another another point in Glass's favor of being a gamer. He's got some ancient stacks on the go. Look at that. Yeah, that's oh, more than I'm just I gonna ever fucking discover them now. This guy might be a pause four. Do, 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 do. I get that tune stuck in my head every time. He's probably not even equipped. It's a default Alk skin. Give us a taunt. Give us a taunt. So the thing with Nyx is, I think. The invisibility is the worst part of the hero. Yeah. Because if you try to use it, you die. You're a hero yeah. with no escape. Your carapace doesn't do enough to get you out of danger. So you have to get some shit like a four stuff, and then you're just wasting... You, they just kill you. you. You just die. You're not uber tanky. David is in trouble here. You, you just kind of perish and feel terrible, and you think, oh, I'm sorry, team. I was just trying to, trying to do something useful in this god-awful game. The and only, the only Nyx perish. I've seen be successful is sadly, it's Axel no boots Dagon Rush. Because that's the <laughs> it's the, if you get it that fast, it's before they're like ready to group up and drop mm. sentries everywhere and you can actually just wander around and solo kill people or find yeah. kills. That's the only one that works. If you don't if you don't do that and don't get like a shard from Tormentor or something, it's just the hero's just fucking dog shit. Now if Zeus can find it in him to press R, it's a kill on David. I think my favourite current tech in the game is if you ever see them finish Tormentor, you just ulti a Zeus straight away. Yeah. Yeah I always do that. Just just see what happens. Always, always, always. Smoke action happening. What was that noise? Oh, it's the dragon. Very Lama. Lama's tanked it. Glasses, oh, no! Glasses well Not our blasted. hero, glasses! Uh. I really want the best for glasses. I really do. I hope he wins this game. 15 to 4, Plague. It's looking unlikely. It's looking very tough. When you when you well, go to the network, it looks wins. even tougher. Everyone else loses. Oh, hello. Oh, David's gonna stun himself. Stun beam channel. Oh, he's gone back in. I wanted to throw it out, didn't want to get self stunned. Dan! Case, I guess. Dan! 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 Dan coming in. We're into tree through. Here we go. Ooh. Completely whip him. We've got a monkey they king here as well. Give it a game, man. Yeah, they got the stuns. They got the lockdown. Nice! We bring down monkey king. I think it comes out on RD. Lockdown glasses. Can he get the clicks down? They're just gonna retreat out a little bit while they're caution down the out on the side. And nice shards coming in. Has has chain, but decides the tree oh! next to him. He's oh! the target to chain too. Oh no! It's a choice. It is a Our choice. hero perished. Oh my god, how does he survive? It was uh, some lovely support gameplay on the side to kill the, uh, god, the Rubik the and Lion. as well. Crazy. And now, <laughs> oh, spotted from the high ground. Oh! Yeah, you generally don't want to TP there. I realize that's a bit of post-cognitive uh, advice, but... <laughs> yeah. I respect yeah, the attempt, though. I always, I'm always going to respect people who are thinking of ways to live. I mean, yeah. Likely. Using a teepee, that is definitely a way to live. I would say, just run around the back of the Roche pit. Buys you just a little extra second. I mean, that's a nice little juke spot if no one's high ground. But they're always going to so be. If, if, well, no, if the snap wasn't in that little high ground bit, I think that would have been a fine... True, hide. true, 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 true. What's Amos up to? Going for the ether lens. Has his phylactery. Have you guys tried or seen the new Zeus Manta build? I did try it. Yeah. 
it's Can quite it's quite funny because your illusions also get the uh, yeah. the jazz hands, so it's not bad. I I played with it with Greg on it the other day, and at the end of the game, it said he did you know many hundreds of thousands of damage, but I hate that I don't notice it in fights. Yeah, you know, proper Zeus, yeah. it's like you get the jump, but it's like bang, there's the damage, there's the kill. Yeah. Whereas this one, it just it feels so icky that they don't die. I think it's and the just... damage is occurring, but they yeah. never die. At least, I presume it's arc lightning like bouncing around as usual and everything. Yeah. Like, the... I, I can't contest the damage stat, but I just think it's not as good as just killing one person with less damage, if that makes sense. It doesn't look cool. It doesn't look cool, that's a good point. But it's also just, I think, not killing any of them, but doing a ton of damage is worse than killing one of them. I see. But doing a bit mm. less damage. Top tower is under attack. The llama just spent a good while stacking up the whole jungle. And now and just they be, they're gonna it. eat it. I feel like Jazz Hand Zeus is kinda like Venomax. <laughs> like you don't yeah. you don't really care about yeah. the damage because it yeah. takes so long to get out. Like, I like that. You region enough that it doesn't actually matter. Like when you play up against a Zeus who's farmed for, purely for magic and had a good lane, you get spotted and you just like insta dead. That's a nice jump. Cookie. And First. so dead Rubik. I guess you've got to do some maths on like regen over time and then the damage take into account and work out the real yeah. damage actually done. I'm sure the people who are like actually smart in this game will, will decide one way or another, but for the moment I'm gonna I'm gonna say burst damage Zeus is my preference. Yeah, probably. It's certainly more fun to play. We don't have a tournament on the line, so you know. Yeah. Let's have a laugh, shall we? God forbid this game is enjoyable. <laughs> I have, I'm on the biggest dub streak at the moment. It's all going to come crashing down. I've been I've been dubbing it. We actually uh, we had a a, 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 Uga, a U style eighty minute game the other day. Oh, but God. for for once we were on the we were on the front foot. Oh. We were the ones squatting outside their base for fucking thirty minutes against the divine sniper. Um, so annoying. We, we broke through eventually. The morning stack games have been gloriously balanced. By which I mean all the guys we're playing against are fucking awful. <laughs> like we had this SF. Oh my god! He was, was just something else. He got f he killed me first because I, I just could not believe he was just gonna stand there mangoing and raising me, and he did it. And then I came back and immediately killed him. And then he I killed him again. He bought back, came in, I killed him again. Just kept doing it. And then he got the blink yules, and we just go and feast on our void. Every time our void would go and farm, he just blink yules alt him. <laughs> And it was such a dumb game. We won it, but it was just like, what? What is this? Llama. Monkey King is doing the thing. They've got a king and a god. Just another fairy tale. I thought and that was the case. Sort of they knew they were up the hill, and they were like, well, let's get a ward down. We know they're up there. Let's go get a ward up there. They um, didn't. Uh, they didn't follow your advice, Ted. They haven't watched the vid. No, they haven't. Never, never yeah. walk up high ground. Like, Dav always does that. You'll ping, the enemies are here, and Dav runs towards them. Like a magnet. And I'm like, why, why are you running towards me? I'm saying, I'm telling you, don't go up there. He's like, yeah, I thought I could get a ward down. Like, yeah, you said they're there so I can get some vision on them. Yeah, no, they, they're they there. Would we never know they're there. We don't need the vision there, because we know they're there. We know they're there. But also, they, they would never think of, you know, casting spells on you. I think, in a way, it's an assumption the enemy team is just as incompetent as you are. That's the uh, that's just too much of Dota is like that. I generally fear the worst. Or maybe low skill players assume the players are as good as them, and because they're terrible. Well, isn't maybe? it the classic Artur excuse of he dies and screams, why are they there? Why are they Because if they were good, they, they, they never there? would have been there. Because <laughs> right. uh, they would have been somewhere else doing something more important. But they weren't That's good enough to true. not be elsewhere, but they killed them. It's like it's what uh... I like about playing three. Why are they killing me? They could be killing someone else. Right. What yeah, they sure. what? <laughs> they use a lot of ults is the fucking peak of that. Yeah, How that dare is. they kill me with ulties? They oh, use their I've spells. Won this one. <laughs> like, they use their spells. It's all they've good. Used their, they've used their spells. Losers. Or using spells up top. Action it's Dan the versus cheese. David. He fancies it. So we got rotations coming in. Yeah, it's enough. David is going for a straight BKB next. I don't know about that. I'll be honest with you. Uh, you you need blink. Yeah, you really I think. need blink. But I also oh, well, think I... you need you need BKB and Thatcher and and other things. Like like House Atreides, he died in the dark. Very <laughs> sad. They used ults though. Monkey ult downloads. 
Monkey or Dow. Monkey or Force two TPs, boys. Force two yeah, TPs. Two TPs, monkey or Dow. So uh, go, go push. <laughs> go, yeah. go do something on the map. Why are you guys doing anything on the map? Yeah, the go space do, just making all this space. Fucking idiots. Yeah. Map's so big now, you're not even fucking using it. I'm making all this space. <laughs> Chakram on CD, lads. Chakram on CD. <laughs> How are fantasy points? That's a good question. Are they on? They are broken. They are broken. <laughs> so are take take note. Take note of that, young Joe. Fantasy points, if you pick them up, it says 10 across the board. Mm. As soon as there's from Pro Dota on, like Dream League, it's they activated. What, why is that? Radiance I don't know. It, it means there must be someone there at Valve that flips a switch, or there's some piece of code that does it. And if there's code that does it, what is that code? How does it figure it out? How does it know? Oh my god. Oh, life now locked down. Getting the initiation. Marcy with a big old ult as well. They're doing a lot of damage. Super gets the ult off. The Zeus jazz hands Shit. from afar. Why do glasses stand now? around so much doing absolutely fuck all? Good God, man. Mm. I'm your God, too. Just do something. Glasses hey! did fuck all in that fight, but uh, Larry Lama did less. He actually stood on the tree next to them the entire time. <laughs> didn't, even stand, didn't even have the decency to stand on the ground and die with his comrades. True. He's got tree Just dance. watched from afar. Leap away. Amos has a tier two token ready to pop. I'm in great anticipation what it's going to be. It's been a good minute already, just chilling in the backpack. He's, he's pondering. He's, it's a deep decision. Not even in the backpack, just in the slot. He's no, it, ready it, to use. Oh! oh Vidicus managed to kill young Larald. He is the superior tree hopper. Yep. Here come the tree hopper. Anyone remember that song? Nope. Here come the hot stepper. You don't remember it? Still living like that is dreadful. No, 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 that's that's sick. Glasses! Glasses! Yes! Oh, and he's got blink. He's, he's hovering around to bait them in, but he's away. Uh, oh! Easy. He almost he almost did it. Did you see? He went for the high ground. He almost did it. And then he thought, wait a minute, I watched a very Thanks. good video this afternoon. <laughs> I tell you what, fair play to Reddit. I uh, I had a pop at them in the vid, and they found they saw the funny side of it. I think anyone who <laughs> actually uses the site knows it's for complete bastards. Yeah. Hello. Oh, that was Fuck it out. The burst. The burst. Uh -oh. Timber burst is insane. No mana. It's a One, nice two, stun. Oh, hello. Not be enough. Oh, didn't quite toss back in time. BKB force though. You can be done, lads. Take it. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Now, do you torment her for the greed as well? Why same. not? You can't lose this game. You have a 87% win probability. Um, Dyer's bottom tower yeah. is under attack. Uh, so, I, I think David is discovering that the lack of blink uh, means it's very hard for him to do anything Dyer's in these fights because a bit of a waddler. Alk, bit a bit of a waddler. You part, you charge up your stun. Everyone just leaves you alone. Uh, mm. And to hold the line, you have Jug. He is Jug. Is he's crawling back up in farm in his slight defense. The, the eternal problem with this patch. They, there's always farm somewhere. Yeah. Um, I will say the. Uh, I think Alchemist would benefit greatly from the other level ten talent. The plus 125 radius on and cushion turns it to a literal RP at times. Mm. Especially if you have a blink. Yeah. He does need he does need a blink. I, I, I kind of get the just tank up attitude. Because you're in theory, right? You're just going to be on high ground for the next like 30 minutes. Mm. So, <laughs> he's tanky as fuck. They dive you. You survive it. You win the fight. 
Uh, but at some point, he's got to be the aggro one, because no one else on his team can really do it. Radiance top tower is under attack. <laughs> Eri getting his excuses in early. Yeah, Eri, we're, we're not buying him. that. <laughs> Father John Misty. Yeah, I, I do like Father John Misty. Um, it's not... It, it's not. It's obviously a very different vibe to Fleet Foxes, but I do like his stuff. But uh, I, I mean, Fleet Foxes have been around for such a long time, and I've I've loved them the whole time. Just such a great band. I really want to see them live. I've never seen them live. They were playing Bristol. I couldn't make it. I would have loved that gig. I am going to see the Longest Johns though. Looking forward to that. I think I saw someone else on the Discord mention they're going to see Longest Johns as well. Happening lads. Arc oh, that's, D. That's nice. That was nice. Arc D. Does he? Does this guy have the blink? He doesn't have the he blink. Does not. Oh yeah. But you know, space created, spells used. Oh, you've chakram. So Idiot's baited. You've chakram. He's chakram. Mana depleted. They're not ready for the high ground push anymore. Yes, Larry. You're definitely going to use dispose. Okay. It's true, he's not going to use it. But hover over that shit on Rubik, that's so broken. They they end up on the other edge of the circle from wherever you pick them up. So that's oh how far God. you can chuck them into base <laughs> with, right. with Rubik. Okay, so that yeah. spell is fucking broken right. as shit. That is, that is like a horn toss skewer right yeah. there. That's and you fun. do it from perfect safety. You don't even use a blink in. You just stand there and <laughs> chuck them under your tip. Alright, I take it back. That's fucking... <laughs> it's like a mini <laughs> ravage. That's insane. It's like better yeah. than Marcy with all her talents for it. Yes, yeah. it's so much better than Marcy with all her talents. Because he's got the Eye of Vizier and Aether Lens. And also I've seen passive. Rubik with Seer Stone plus Dispose and Aether Lens, and he, ch he oh chucks them God. like across the map. <laughs> and then you can lift them as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, Roche. Roche and go high ground. Super again. He's in. He's kind of in the right spot right now. Just farming in weird places. Yeah, far away from the enemies. Far away from everything. Is he inside this box? He was not. Dyer are scanning. Um, he should probably be careful here. If he wanders any closer, I'm very worried for him. Yeah, you gotta you gotta stick to your little area, you know. Your little three camps you found. Maybe sneak a wave at times. He greeds now for the next wave coming in. Oh my god! Oh! Yes. I'll take that. As well. Oh yeah. Mm. Hell yeah. This is a man who's provided value for his team. Get out. He's, he's finished the axe on this. Unironically, his net worth has caught up from being terrible. This this game is unbelievably somehow throwable. Yeah, this is throwable. And the win probability reflects that. We've come down from a high of 88. We're down 7 points to 81. It's a bear market for Radiant Stocks. Oh, 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 God, they're all TPing for soup. They want him! They really do want him. TP. Trying to spin away. Gets the TP <laughs> for the damage. Woo Easy. Woo Easy out. I don't care what Perian says. That's why I think Jug's a good hero. Any other hero would have died there. That is, that is true. Oh! Go! Oh, no. Larry Lama stole it again. Oh, back. Walk there. Oh, so, so close. close. Keep so close. No. Get it. Hide in the trees. Whoa. <laughs> right on top of him, though. Get his ass. You want? He's the so monkey fucking goes dead. Down. <laughs> Can they control oh, him? No, he's not oh, he is absolutely base, fucking and he fine. Kills your whole team. Oh my god. Why would you dispose of him? <laughs> That's like <laughs> dog dropping toxic waste in your front garden. The one hero they can't kill. Too busy thinking whether they could. 
Do you know what? They didn't if, if the, the lion, where they should. <laughs> the lion is alive there. Like, if there's any comps, he's like, I'll yeah. dispose him in. You hex him, and then you stun him, and we'll get him. But instead, they just dispose him in. No one handles him. He gets his fucking BKB off, and murderizes them. Uh. Right, where's... All right, Tusk brought back, so still no blink on him. Unfortunate. So, you can play in the in-houses if you are dreadful at Dota, are a subscriber, are active on the Discord. The Discord, in other words, you need to be able to get in the voice channels and tour the Discord. Um, and, uh, you know, you're not someone who's going to ruin a game by smurfing on your Immortal account, because we'll just ban you forever. You have to be suitably cacked. It would be very cacked. funny one time, so give it a try. <laughs> Yeah, if it's worth five quid, then uh, go for it. I Why think it'll not? be fine to see how long someone could get away with smurfing as an immortal. Well, like, without us noticing. Bad. Plague could be in these every week, we wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> get him to play his famous disruptor. The only it's support. It's crazy that for so long my disruptor was, oh, shit. was my second Oh my theory. lord, that damage! The monkey ran oh away. Oh my god. Oh, down on another and... This is just sad. Oh no, my god. The BKB runs out. Can't get the lockdown line finger oh, crossed. Oh, he's still in it. But the team, but not quite. Glasses. Bugdy oh. tries to get the TP. A single chop. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower. There we go. You know what? Fair enough. GG. GG. Respectable. Well done, team. Didn't fuck around and waste our time. 35 to 7. That is what we call a shellac. Mm. Thanks, right. Eric. Yeah, well done, Eric, mate. <laughs> well done, Eric. Good balancing, bud. That was Amos. So I was quoting there. I wasn't yeah. putting my opinion in. <laughs> every week, Eric claims he's balanced these teams, and every week he, he blames the lads for picking the wrong heroes and going in the wrong lanes. You can't pick the Goobers and just hope they're gonna not Goober. Goobers oh, gonna Goob. Goobers are gonna Goob. To goose. Kaush just rose you bed for 25 months. Don't yeah. you feel bad for hurting him? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Barov, Barov Klondike says, "I don't know how my team lost there. How is that your team? Are you their coach?" You was all in the second you saw David on street. Really? David, <laughs> I see David's reputation precedes him, but not the actual reputation, some perceived reputation. David's pretty good, I think. Yeah, no, David's pretty good. All in on David. Well, you've also got the great weight of, of say, Glasses and Larry, who I think Larry was booted off core because he was too good, wasn't he? I think Larry just does whatever the fuck he wants week on week. I'm going to be honest, I don't think we ever prescripted him. I like Microsoft PowerPoint as a name. I don't know why that <laughs> makes me laugh. It always does. <laughs> Vidicus and Larry just played. Are we short of people, Larry? Again. Uh, even after a, a break. I see tons of players in here. They'll get in here eventually, I'm sure. I see. Oh, Amos, comma, has a slow brain. Amos is like a doctor of physics or something like that. Oh, so yeah, I've played a bit of Millennia. I should try it again. All those games look the same to me. It's 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 very similar to Civ, but if you've played a lot of Civ, the differences to it are quite um noticeable. And you're like, oh, that's quite yeah. clever. It'd be like if they, you know, it's like if you didn't know how to play Dotes, you'd look at this and Hops yeah. and League and say they all look very similar. But, yeah, but the more true. you play it, you're like, mm, actually, there's quite quite a bit changed here. Codename Duchess. I do. I like that name too. Microsoft PowerPoint. Brazilian Bast Lift. Or Bast Lift, I guess. That's Bast. Koala Killer. Teehee. 
and Grumpy Nerd. Robertek the Czech is in. Which is now not a Czech Republic, it's Chechia. Has been probably for a oh. few years, but I'm just catching up. I hope it's not like a big deal. Are they no longer a republic? Is that why? Czech Republic name change. We'll join other countries who have shortened or simplified their names and has asked for people to refer to it as Chechia. Both the Czech Republic and the shortened Chechia have been officially recognized since 2016. Why it will change its name? This is the New Zealand Herald. Let's find out. Um, the Republic of Iceland became Iceland in 2022, while this year Micronesia became the Federated States of Micronesia. I mean, if you're looking for a rebranding, that ain't it. Micronesia sounds pog. The Federated States of Micronesia sounds like a club that not many people belong to. Micronesia could be huge. Even though it's got micro, it's got nesia, which is like not just amnesia, but also could be something much bigger. The people of Micronesia will be there by your side, Lord Felrond. And we shall charge into battle, so armed with the courage that though you be micro and have amnesia, we shall be victorious this day. Turkey rebranded as Turkey, but spelled different. Yeah, that's a bit mad. We should rebrand as Greg's. Just chucking it out there. It's the only good thing in this stinking pile anyway. <laughs> Do you know, uh, there's a Gales moved into my area. I still haven't tried it yet. A what? A Gales. Proper sign of gentrification is a Gales turning up. I love a Gales. We got one in Twickers and one in Richmond. I've never seen a Gales. Really? Well, Maybe I have, but I just haven't noticed. Let's see, where the, is there a Gales in Bristol? Yeah, so I'm checking. Uh, Gales to open oh, the first <laughs> yeah, Bristol yeah. Bakery. There you go. There we go. It's up in Clifton next to the Ivy. Oh, uh, yeah, schnazzy. It's more of a Clifton thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, opposite fairly interesting. That's quite funny. Gales is a bakery, CJ. And a very nice one. I'm not sure I've been told. Good, actually. What's good? What have you been told, Pike? Gales. I've not actually been there. That's what? what? I'm saying. One's open in my area, but I've not been yet. Oh, you got to go. I, I tell you what. It's amazing. It's like you can get some really nice bread there. And then they've got like their sort of all the baked stuff. They do these little um, spinach and uh, I think it's spinach and feta little phyllo pastries. They're very, very good. Little sandwiches, they're excellent. Bigger sandwiches, also excellent. Their sausage rolls are insane. Like, <laughs> insane. Mm. Like, the, imagine that a Greg sausage roll, and I'm going to be crude here, is a, a tarty girl that you just can't resist. But you're not going to respect yourself, and it's nothing really long term. You're just going to keep coming back to her now and again. The Gale sausage roll is a very classy bird that you would definitely, definitely want to marry as soon as possible. That's my crude 1930s take. Almost too classy to, to the point where you feel you don't really deserve her, you know? Oh, right? absolutely. No, no. And I certainly don't feel that I'm doing her justice when I eat her. That's the problem. No. We're talking about sausage rolls. <laughs> Oh. Right, almost there. Yeah, we're one third of the way there. Okay. Uh, I don't want to curse it, but it's only 9 p.m. We're, we're well ahead of schedule. Well, congratulations, Plague. Your caster's curse has come back once again to smite. Look, us. I just want to give Ashwin time to get on, all right? <laughs> Ashy B. Won't be making game three. That's my prediction. Actually, he might. We got the draft. revamped 
central line trains with new cushions, new seating. Oh, it's very snazzy. I think my biggest tube complaint is the occasional genuinely deafening screeching noise that I wish they would fix. Particularly what? getting close to Kennington on the northern line, heading <laughs> southbound. What Agony. Eh, that one. Yeah, it's fucking awful. Especially if you're a little bit hungover. It's just appalling. Yeah. Though I can't really complain because Northern Light is just fantastic most of the time. But uh, Like much of the tube, I would say. And this is something that anyone who's lived in London long enough will know. Here is the biggest problem with London. Is that it's very easy to get in and out. But it's very hard to shake it all about. So if you try and go in circles around London, it gets yeah. more complicated, especially in the South, where for some reason, despite the fact that South London has a lot of money, they've decided not to put any fucking trains here. So I can get into town very easily, but going left and right a bit, very difficult. Very, very difficult. Are you describing yourself as in London? Yeah. What, what, what part of London do you think I'm not in? Well... I wouldn't classify the tube of getting in, shaking it all about as your area of London. It's not real London. Well, it's out London. It's it's Greater London, my brother. What more do you want? Yeah, we're one of the like, boroughs the, of London. Yeah, but the, but the underground is like for shaking it all about. Right, but that's only London. three miles away from my house. Not even. Would you describe Tottenham so you, you as want, being you in want London? Like a, you want the underground, like nasty, twirly bit to like expand out in circles. I'm saying it's very close. My issue is that there's no left and right bit. Like, it's all very inline. So it's all, all the lines are set up to drive you into the central and then come back. And the idea is, of course, that you're just using it to get to work or the shops or whatever. But you're not using it to, say, go and see your mate. So there are overground trains, and Southwest London is quite lucky. We've got quite a few lines to get around in Southwest London. But God forbid I want to go to South East London. I've got to go all the way in and then come all the way back out again. All right, who failed I'd say, to get really, the, the best way to get to South East London is on the fucking boats. Honestly. Yeah, get in and get on a boat, yeah. Yeah. All right, who fucked up? I got in. I'm I'm not in. Well, I got in. I loaded. I didn't, the game didn't start. Uh, I'm back in the lobby now. Yeah, same. We go okay. again. New York City has the same problem. Public transport has several lines that go out into the suburbs but are not interconnected. Yeah, I guess the assumption is we're not meant to talk to those other people. We're just meant to not be with them. No, you're meant to agree to meet in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's generally what we do. Like, we don't... I mean, all the, all the trains go to the hottest Five location. I mean, Twicken is quite far from Central. Like, I, I grew up in New Morden. I would never Radiant describe myself as, like, back. growing up in London. Morden? And that's, like, the same distance. I, I, yeah, but that, that is Greater London. Yeah, but I wouldn't classify it as London seconds, in my mind. Remaining. Well, that's because you're... Too, it's too far out. You're not a Londoner. It's not. It's not Five too far out. Remaining. It's too far out. It's not. It's nothing. It's it's it's, it's greater London. If you can't if you can't walk to a tube, I can. I can absolutely walk to a tube. You can in fucking more you You're on the bloody northern if, line. If you can't walk to two tube stations. <laughs> All right, bozo. Five seconds. I'm as central as it gets. I can I can walk to three. Yeah. I mean, if you're saying that you have to live within the square mile, that's ridiculous. And if you're saying, oh, well, well, it's got to be close enough. It's got to be on the tube. How close to the tube? I just don't know why you're surprised about not having wiggle room on the trains. What wiggle that far room? out. It's not that far out, you bellen. It's a, <laughs> most people that live in Greater London <laughs> don't live in the fucking middle. <laughs> Idiot. Radiant I lost all respect uh -huh. for you, Joe. No, that's fine. <laughs> what do you fucking know? You live in Bristol, for Christ's sake. I do now. Morden. You sound like a Mordenite. Ten seconds remaining. Barely comprehensible Mordenite. Five seconds remaining. I used to work in New Morden. Did you? Yeah, for many years. Five years I worked there for BAE. Shithole. But New Morden, Ten if you like Korean remaining. food... Oof, you'll mm. find it. You will find it. Five seconds remaining. 
but I hated my job, so I have very, very sad memories of it. Mm, 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 mm. Well, I've lived all my life in, in lovely Lambeth. Yeah, Lambeth. Not not too shabby. That's not bad. I don't really think of Lambeth as being in London, though, because... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you, you have Lambeth North... What line is that on? That's on the Bakerloo, and yeah. you've got Vauxhall. That's that's easily walkable. So I'm I'm through. I'm in bet pretty much equidistance between Oval, Vauxhall, and Nine Elms, the new Battersea. Yeah, branch. Kennington's uh, not far. Kennington's not bad either. If I want to str if if Oval's down, I walk to Kennington. Yeah. Lion. Elephant and Castle dangerously close. Elephant Castle's nice now. They've they've done Elephant Castle up now. Have they actually? Yeah, they did a they did a big series of works on it. It's very nice now. Well, very nice is pushing it, but it's much nicer than it was because it was a shithole. Who is the picture of, by the way, the someone with a bald cap and a dressing gown? Who is that? That's me. Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe, look how old you look with a bald cap on. This was for Halloween. Dav and I were meant to be matching. But he forgot to order shit off Amazon. It was meant to be us both in ball caps, so we found a shitty one in the office, and those are Lewis's glasses. <laughs> and that's Dav's bathrobe. What did Dav come as, then? Himself! Oh, wait. Sorry, no, a Pablo Escobar. Um, but it was him. God. Just, <laughs> he didn't, he just had a chain on. <laughs> Not a reliable lad. You did get scammed. You look... The face there is of a man who was scammed. <laughs> that is not a happy face. Ten seconds remaining. Felt so exposed in that room. The big old studio and... Five seconds remaining. Not much. I had to go out in South East London for a mate's birthday party not that long ago. It was, out, it was quite annoyingly far out. I think it was like Hither Green or somewhere around that way. Hither Green? Yeah, just a pain in the ass to get to. I'm going to let you know whether that's in London or not. Uh, that's not in London, mate. <laughs> it is well inside the M25. I don't even know what you're chatting at this point. Remaining. Like, are you saying that... No, I'm joking. It... No, no, yeah. that's, All right. that's London. That's London. It clearly is. I'm, I'm just right, not if you don't this think it me. is, if you don't think it is, come up here and try to pay some council tax. If you don't... If you're confident <laughs> that living in these places means you are not in London, you tell me how much shit costs, how much your fucking house bloody costs, how much your fucking council tax costs, and then tell me you don't live in London. Because you will very quickly be saying, well, it's London pricing, we should be paid more, and your, ca your council tax is London, London. You will very quickly jump on that train, believe me. The green. Oh, Lewisham, right. Way out. Way fucking out. Yeah. Dieting. Excuse, Excuse me. Excuse me. But it's time to goose. Egon tirait bas de Merci, Just was for 4 months. Will you be at Tesla Birmingham, Mr. Flax? Will I be at ESL Birmingham? Yes, I will. I will be working the event. Ten seconds remaining. Watford That's is clearly just... not London. Like clearly. No, it's well out of well out. I mean, there's an example of something that is not That's in London. That's almost a fucking Hemel Hempstead, for God's sake. Look no, at that. That is so far out. You've got to get on the M1 to get there, and there is a definitive gap, the Watford gap, which yeah. is the gap. If you look at Edgware, look at all that green before you get to Watford. Yes. Don't interrupt. We're arguing about London it's not a bad in here. Effort. That's not a bad effort. Look after it because you're going to need it Thursday. So go ahead. Take care of it, please. Thank you. you got to go through places like Northwood, Moor Park, Bushy, South Oxhay, Hartsbourne Country Club. Who's ever heard of these things? Five seconds remaining. I mean, Pinner is about as far out as you could imagine. Fucking, I, I'm living in Pinner. That's way out. It's north of Harrow. And that is still definitely Greater London, I'd say. Pinner. Rice slip, come on. See, Hornsey, I've never heard of Hornsey, but it's quite a big place. The thing is, it's tucked between Tottenham and Wood Green and Finsbury Park. There's too many other things. Ali Pali, you know, there's too many other things around it. 
Walthamstow. Used to spend a fair bit of time in Walthamstow. Rough, but a lot of fun. If you like dog racing, the dog track in Walthamstow was good crack. Huh. Dog racing is fucking amazing. I would go to the dogs much more often if there was one available. Those little lads are having the time of their lives. <laughs> the problem now, quite a few of the, the Greyhound owners are... Um, used to be, I think it's much better now, but in the 90s when I was up here, they were, they were not great. And I know a friend of mine knew a guy who kept greyhounds and they were not kept in a good state like they should not have yeah. been kept the way they were but um i'm sure that remaining. it's better now um i'm gonna start Five saying london ontario remaining. is london no not only that here all right put it this way providence ontario california when i was told i was flying into ontario airport when i went to a summit i was like oh we're in canada they were like no california i was like so there's a connecting flight they were no ontario airport california you lot have nicked so many place names, it's ridiculous. What's Holy London, shit. Ontario like, anyway? Ten seconds why, is the, why is the London Eye called the lastminute.com London Eye? When did that happen? Are you serious? Really? On the Google Maps. It's the, oh they, my god. That's sickening. Fuck off. Lastminute.com London Eye. What the hell? Uh, is that the only place you can get tickets now, do you think? It is now. Oh, it maybe. is called the lastminute.com London Eye. That is shocking. That is shocking. <laughs> That's so annoying. Oh well. Can't wait for Raid Shadow Legends Tower Bridge, honestly. <laughs> what, what, what was the name? Raid Shadow Legends Tower oh, Bridge. Oh god, it's coming. <laughs> the PUBG Big Ben. That's the biggest game in Southeast Asia, PUBG Mobile. <laughs> 1x bet, Big Ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Manscape Big Ben. That's the mm. Manscaped Big Ben is actually good. <laughs> this is the ExpressVPN Houses of Parliament. Oh, <laughs> oh God. The NordVPN British Museum. That's the one I want. Mm. Five seconds. There's a train line could be brought to us by Audible and they play a little audio book. <laughs> I would like that. That sounds good. Like that. Radiant team so, my daughter came home from school today uh -huh. and she said, Oh, by the way, I've signed up for an Easter bonnet contest uh, and it's due on Thursday. And I said, You're telling me this on Tuesday evening. That gives us less than a day to prepare a bonnet. Um, and I said, remaining. we don't have any craft stuff in the house. Got rid of it all because you kids Five weren't using it. So we binned it all. And now you suddenly foist this on me. You don't give me a couple of days. Get some on Amazon. Put, knock, knock something together. I said, it's for Thursday. So we've essentially got the time between you coming home from school tomorrow and bedtime to make an Easter bonnet. And... Your mum's not going to want to do it because she's working from home tomorrow and she's going to be busy. I was hoping to be busy, and now I'm going to have to make a cock in bonnet. So do you know what she did? Ten seconds remaining. Don't tell her teachers this. Her sister had already made a bonnet for a separate Five thing. She just, she just <laughs> repurposed that bonnet. <laughs> That's smart. Yeah, That's it is smart. smart. But fortuitous. She's lucky her sister kept it. Kids do this. They do this all the time. Oh, it's World Book Day tomorrow. Tomorrow? Like, yeah... Uh, I want to go as X, especially when they're little, because they yeah. get given a note. I don't know why teachers do this. Teachers give a piece of paper to the kids and say, give this to your parents. It describes the horrific shit they're going to have to do for Friday, some craft shit. They're going to have to make a full-size mannequin of, you know, the Pope or whatever. Ten like, make sure your parents see that. And you dig around in their bag because they've forgotten their lunchbox, Five haul out this wet piece of paper that says... You're absolutely fucked. You've got to have this ready for tomorrow. You're going to look like a terrible parent. So you're like, ah, oh, shit. Now you're running around the house trying to tape something together. Feel like Homer Simpson, that episode where he dresses Lisa up as Florida by slapping her between a couple of bits of foam with some gaffer tape. <laughs> I was so bad as a kid um, to the point Five where my mum kind of had a go-to costume every time I yep, forgot to tell her something. you've got to have like, oh, that. Well, I guess you're dressing up as a Roman soldier again for book day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We you break grab the bed it out, sheets, pin it up, 
Add Mom, some red cards. The armor's yeah, done a pinch. Done. Well, you are 17, Joe, but this is the only costume we've got. World Book Day. What a shit. What a shit World Book yeah. Day is. True. Invented to ruin parents' evenings. <sighs> Books aren't about having fun and dressing up. They're about bloody reading. Amen. They should come into, come into school with a fucking book. Yeah. Or, or a How costume. about you just read a fucking book? Idiot. Exactly. Idiot child. Get off your TikToks. Read a book. Yeah, exactly. But I can't imagine what like primary schools are like nowadays. You like, can't imagine what primary schools are like. No, just like I remember, like growing up, and like there'd be like a fad toy. Oh, it still happens. But, but like, do children have smartphones? What age do children get phones? Or like, it's generally it's up devices. to the parents. Like some parents give their kids phones later, some earlier. Um, I think both of mine had a phone around nine or ten. Um, but mm. it was like our old phones and it didn't yeah. have like a sim or anything and it was just for playing games or reading because they just liked the idea of having one and if you put whatsapp on it they could chat with their mates which they thought was fantastic and you yeah. know they would a little whatsapp group with their friends they're all chatting and sending each other memes I was like this is fine and if I had that technology when I was a kid I would have loved it and they can organise shit so they can be like do you want to come around this weekend and stuff like it's good for their social lives and things like that and they take yeah. all pictures and things, so it, it is fun. Now they're on their phones a lot, but interestingly, I would never say that they are just sitting there on their phones all day doing nothing else. Mm. Um, they they do other shit for sure. But when it comes to like toys and like fads, absolutely still happens, hundred percent. Because kids really? are still very tactile, especially at a younger age. They want to have things, and. They would like Pokemon cards, football trading cards, yeah. um, various other little toys, fidget spinners when they were a thing. All these. They didn't have like an NFT be... fad. In, like, <clears throat> five or no, something. no NFTs. Kids, kids not doing that. No, they literally bought actual bored apes into school because they were you know, very tactile. <laughs> these kids. God, what's that? What's that bag company that has little monkeys on them? Hmm. Don't know. Because I remember that that became a trend at my school, collecting a, those. A bag with a monkey. It's, it's like a well-known brand. I cannot remember the name of it for the life of me. Which is a, what, what a weird thing to think back. Mm. We got Larry in again. Alfredo is in. Prepare for battle. This is uh, the slightly higher skilled for. game, I believe. Mm. I was I was going to say at the end of the draft. Enigma is like the ultimate trump card of this game. There's no way Enigma loses. And hmm. then I saw who's playing it. I'm going to click. fucking Larry. Oh, God Larry. damn Larry. Larry. So oh, the, the only trump card in. may not be as powerful as I thought. Larry, Larry, Larry. It's higher skilled by luck of who showed up. Well, Amos... You're not in it, so that automatically elevates it to a slightly higher skilled game. Watching you last hit under a tower with your queue up, just standing around, drove me insane. Insane! Oh, you, 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 played, you played perfectly okay. Exactly average. Apart from that missing CS under tower. That was disgusting. It was every time I tuned in. <laughs> every time. I, let's see how Amos is doing. I pan over. And nope. Same shit. Why are we for toffeeing? Is toffee okay? I think they just like toffee. Mm. A grim stroke. The battle begins. I think Clockwork is secretly one of the better heroes um, that you could play as a plus four. I really do. If you gotta have the right lane partner, but I think he does a lot of good shit. BKB you piercing, early move speed BKB on him. piercing He's a stun. Yeah. <clears throat> you can run down a lot of here. A lot of heroes animations are so fucking long they can't do shit. Cancel black hole if you want. You can do all kinds of cool shit. These can't things be... are all true. But then I see what Clockwork actually does in the video game Dota 2. <laughs> and it's it's just remarkably less cool than the description. I think he does plenty. Maybe maybe I spank myself will will nail it. He's doing, he's doing the right thing so far. Just walk out them with Q on and laugh. Yep. Problems. Number one, his mana... Shit costs too much money for his mana regen. 
He's, he's a very stupid boy. Yep. Um, number two, I think his shot and his ags are fun, but they're not exactly high impact. Although it is fun jetpacking away from the enemy team. Oh, yeah, jetpack. Yeah. And his ags, if you can get it early, like the problem is, triple rocketing is really good for forcing the waves constantly away from your farming cores. He is he's plus three this game, so Yeah. I think if he if he goes a very fast axe, I'll think he's a good player. I think if he does any other builds, you do. Just it, it's just good. very good. It really does accelerate your farm and shit. And you can just melt guys like uh, Shadow Shaman, triple rock. You know, unironically, like I would not be offended by him going double bracer and radiance this game. That would be hilarious. <laughs> I've seen, I've just seen Brewmaster do this fucking Radiance build too many times, and it's so, he just doesn't yeah. fucking die. I think so many other offlaners can do it. It's I think a tie with Double Brace of Radiance would actually, actually crush most games. Another Lion game. Hey, Amos is a clever lad. Like a, like a lot of the lads who are genuinely abysmal at Dota, they are... And they, you know, they've saved their brain power for things that actually are important, like being a doctor of dildos, which I, I believe Amos confessed to me one time. That's what he is. He's a doctor of dildos. <laughs> yes, Teehee. I guess you ah, could get a tee -hee. doctor in now. dildos if you really tried. What about? I have a T. I have a Teehee story that came uh -huh, to me recently. Uh -huh. Uh, we were, you know, some, some nights you're not really getting a fifth in your stack, and NZ FedEx invited this guy to call Tihi, who I didn't really know. Said he's a lovely lad, and he was delightful in every single way, apart from the fact that he went mid and picked Lich, and died I about 15 times in lane. <laughs> I see nothing wrong with this. Why did he get a Lich? he try playing the Lich, pause one. I don't, I just, I don't know. I didn't really. I didn't. I didn't even know his rank or like what, whether he's good or not. He just went, went mid pick lich. Played against mid techies on the other team, and got stomped. But he, still, he was a lovely. I will not. He was a lovely lad throughout. Very pleasant to play with. Oh, it was, a, it was brutal. Law friendly mid lane matchup. Is he really? <clears throat> What's That's the lore between is... Pugner and Viper? Uh, Viper was Pugna's pet. Oh! Oh, really? Yeah. <clears throat> Pugna's like the, the king of the underworld or some shit. Little baby king. Oh, yeah, um, he's a dead baby or something, isn't he? Yeah. Well, the mobile for a baby. Robertus cannot, fast, you cannot fight him, Robertus. They got cogs up in the Tsunami second. Tsunami 600. You know what I was saying? Uh, Jug's the worst tier in the game. 45 viewers. Slark mm. might well challenge him for that. He's definitely <laughs> down there. So it's good to see people sticking to their traditionals. Thank you for the raid, Neil. How are you doing? Why do I still lose against Slark? Am well, I just bad? We're just Am bad. I... Yeah. I think okay. what Slark can do is very annoying. He, he just will be in a fight, steal stats, kill people. But in lane, he's horrific, and his items are yeah. all very nerfed, right? They killed oh, Mage Slayer specifically to say fuck you to Slark. Oh, they stack the stuns a bit, but they might get maybe get the kill. Ooh. Next. Codename Duchess. Damn. And they're away. Oh, wow. Sick they are body really blocks. Oh, 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 this stack almost killed them. Go, Alfredo, chasing. go. Whoa, oh, take he, me. Turn back he, take, round. Takes him. What a bodyguard. Stacks himself. Get for down, for the Mr. Save. President. <laughs> Monsieur President. A bullet flies the other side of the room that would have missed him. Get that. Get it down, <laughs> jumps in the way. Oh shit! Oh, we just want his medal, okay? Don't question well. it. What is this? He don't like him up. He don't like it up in this, Sven. He don't like it up him. I would like to see Emma Royds do something. No. <laughs> He's, yeah. I don't. Okay. I, I think I can sort of get support Enigma, but without being able to sacrifice creeps, it really does feel just shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, I do, I, I can see the concept of you just run your Eidolons at things and help the die, but... I, I mean, the this, thing is... This is not good. He's not getting the Eidolons on the Shadow Shaman. I don't know what he's doing with them. They do, yeah. Here we go, here we go, here we go! Spells! Spells could be used! 
That's fucking exceptional. <laughs> That's such a free kill. Although, maybe now on, maybe the, on the shaman? No. 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 Radiance <laughs> has been killed. <laughs> I want to see more Bloodthorn Enigma. You go all the Eidolon Towns and you get Bloodthorn. <laughs> you get a load of lads and it does a ton of damage. I've done it once. I'm not sure whether it's going to be one, but I'm not sure it was because of me. I do. I do believe somewhat in the Vlad's uh, Eidolon talents enigma. Vlad's pipe. Yeah. Just be the be the Eidolon boy. I'm not sure about the bug thorn. That that's really. The, how much does that shit cost? It's next level. Well, that's six thousand six hundred twenty-five gold. That is a late game build. I'll say that. No, not if you farm quick enough. That's you know fair. Real quick. Despite everything that's happened to the Sven in the lane, his his CS are still better than Clocks. They keep trying to kill people. And they keep not succeeding, which is the problem. This is when the Uncle Dolans should be on this Sven. Like he's last hitting under tower. The Dolans are in there, the clock is in there. Look at Roberta's, he's on like bare health. Get in there, you clowns! A nice rotation from Koala Killer. Kills Le Leon code name Duchess. <clears throat> code name Duchess. Duchess. This is, uh, this is always the pain of leaving lane against Pugnus. Just the tower damage is fucking annoying. Same with DK. Fuck those heroes. Play calm, honest heroes. Calm down, fucking lone druid spammer. Play honest. Wow. I do. I do. You know, I, I did whip out the LD the other day for a special occasion. Um, He's turning back was... around. This is a kill. A little bit of a high five. Fucking Larry's level five. What is happening? Oh, he He's got, got the to, fucking brain. He room. got the wisdom. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Oh, that was a go! Oh, Jesus. They're not, they're, they've got no guts, these it's, boys. It's during my night in that the Eidolons are dying without duplicating. Without duplicating, <laughs> Because he's, he's, he's microing with, uh, like, everyone selected and the attack yep. orders, right? Uh, so he can only attack things that are but within range of his Enigma <laughs> attack range. <laughs> Because they they're like they're like grouped around him like he's, he's the mother hen and those are little chickens chickens you know chickens the ch chickens ch what's chicks chicks yeah what but do you fucking call them I did say the chickens that, in a really weird way and I was trying to say chick and I was trying to say chicklings. goose at the same time I, see. I, I got to I got to chicklings and I realised chicklings was wrong so I cancelled the L and I just said chickens <laughs> in a stupid way chickling oh having a big suck mate that's a big suck easy to tear off the old. Doctor of Suck. God, this Grim Slark. Slark Slardar combo is horrific, It's pretty, man. pretty, pretty brutal. Just anyone that can run at you with the Grim E. Yeah. yeah. In the lane. Ugh. It's funny how whenever people are wondering how a hero is going to be buffed or whatever, you know, what can they do? It's amazing to be how quickly they come up with something like... Oh, hello. Yep. Yep. Oh, the pig. The pig to run away was very good. Yeah, but you kind of do have to go for the cogs at some point. Yeah. Is Llama going to deny this idol on like he did the last, or is he actually going to make an attack? He's sending one in. Oh, they're back on him again. Larry. God bless you, Larry, <laughs> oh, but please. you make me very sad. Oh, getting the D ward. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We like that. Your idols are useful for that. They got the D ward faster. Oh, we got a hated Pugner running up top. Oh, I got the knife. No. <laughs> Even it's with Duncan time. four of them hitting him and his boys. Pugner go on the slaughter, but team's not ready. Now jumping in. Spence There's come a Sven up, up here. What? Interesting. Why is Sven here? It's a fair question. Well, I mean, there's no way that you could expect Microsoft PowerPoint to go up there. <laughs> they might actually get this kill. Finally, they found a killable lad, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <that's sad>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm oh. surprised the Battle Assault was actually in range there. It's always a bigger range than I think. 
I was I was half expecting Larry Lama to black hole that. I'll be honest. Yeah, no, I would have I would have taken it. It would have would have meant he did something. Wow. This is look at Tomlin. This is so fucking sad. Slado and Sven just standing next to each other, getting angry about who's farming this wave. What's what's occurring here? One of them needs to leave. I can't even see Roberta's attack animation. He's just moonwalking He's just around. Stunned. <laughs> He's so furious. He's refusing to hit. Why are they just bombing these fucking waves? Look at him go! He's just... Looking at the sky. He looks like he's baked out of his fucking mind. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna miss on the first hook from uh, I Spank Myself, unfortunately. Excellent. I'd say that's one of my specialist heroes is Clockwork. When I desperately need a dub, out comes the boy. Hello! Where you going, son? Oh, Idiot! Oh my Clown! goodness. Oh. They got Larry! The save? Larry! Like, oh, Larry! Not... You fucking melt! Was that a hole? That was it a was, hole! It was, yeah. It oh was. my god. It's sort of like same tick stuff. Like, oh, 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 the crazy. double suck top. That's brutal. Getting <laughs> mana drains and higher, life drains. Higher skill group? Yeah, but Larry was in last game as well, right? Just because we have horrible. some better lads. I mean, doesn't mean Larry is still Larry. Whatever ran back in and died. He did. After getting bunced to safety, I just <laughs> bunced. <laughs> Why are you trying to make sense of this, Joe? What, what do you mean? It? I've always said bunced. I know it's funny. I'm saying, why are you trying to make sense of what the lads do? We gave up on that a long time ago. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, I don't do enough in houses, you know. That's true. It, it's Jeez. it's the Guildford lads actually. You and your crew mm. do have a few things that you say that isn't quite right, and I like that because it makes me <laughs> think that Guildford was one of those places where people were a little bit different. For example, really? Munchie always he, everything that's apostrophe s. He says it as if it's a single thing that doesn't belong to anyone. So he just says Lincoln, not Lincoln's. Lincoln. I, I think you had to also remember everyone in that Discord is heavily dyslexic. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, honestly, I think half of us are like so, so bad. I didn't dyslexic. know that. That's funny. <laughs> so funny. Here we go. This is definitely a kill. Oh, oh. the turnaround. Go on, Microsoft PowerPoint. <gasps> Living? Turning back around. Ah! Dice to the punt reward. I expect a, a soldier who's willing to fight to the death. Wait, That's Larry killed right him. There. What did he die to? He Eidolons. died to the pug reward. But. I, there was Eidolon. Larry. Well. Oh, he sent the Dolans over. Oh. I like that. He just sent. Yep, off you go, lads. I'm going to farm the lane. He's definitely. He's, he's improving, he's close right? Close to blink. The micro is getting there. I'll tell you that this. Enigma will win this game. There are no BKB pitching stuns, and they're up this against was two not, Melagors. It was just, I don't want to feed Eidolons in lane. That's what yeah, it was. that was it. You can't win. When we're watching an Enigma play, we're either going to complain about the Eidolons not doing anything, or the Eidolons feeding. See, the key yeah. is, you hit with the Eidolons oh, enough what? so that they're close to splitting. Send them in on the Shadow Shaman. Oh, Jesus, look out, Larry. Send them in on the Shadow Shaman, right? And then he zaps them with his Q. And then you immediately get an auto attack off. They all split and it's like they're at full health and nothing's happened. That's what you do. This is nice. This is nice. Here we go. Hook is up. Black Hole is up. I spank myself is on the hunt. Send the Dolans up. The uh, prediction. The blink is These here. Dolans the are a hundred billion percent gonna block a hook at some point. <laughs> Guaranteed. Yeah, yeah this is, that's terrible. It's the second hook was missed this game, so he's over two right now. They just trade him. Yeah, that's fine. Mid tower. <coughs> it does not. Protect Dyer's as much as it used to. It's not fallen. that. Important. Yeah, no one cares. Oh, there's a lion in this game. I forgot. <clears> about <throat> that's a, that's the thing the lads don't do. When I play lion, I am so greedy for finger kills. Every time it's up, I will try and go around and get something. Oh, they're going for a wraparound smoke here. This is uh, a bold play, Cotton. 
Beefy is going to be there for them. Here he comes. Distracted, panicked, running away. Not the illusion baits. I found him, lads! I'm running! I found him again. Yay! No, what? He crap! No. Oh, he's stuck in the hole, though. Not quite. Oh, and bot as well. The spend's been found. There's, There's the finger the stack kill. we wanted. Yay! No! Larry! You can tank too, you big baby! Don't make your lads do it all for you. Oi. Meanwhile, in a very quiet game, Slark is slowly creeping up the net worth. He's at the top and getting the lead. And when he has eggs, he's unkillable for a little while. Actually, that is a lie. Grimstroke is in the game. Grimstroke can ruin Slark. Net worth is right here, lads. Oh, done not quite. Oh! Oh! Here we go. It's backing up. Enigma's not there. Enigma doesn't have TP up. Might be some Aggie. Uses ult. Like yeah, that out of the Where was Enigma? Where was Enigma? No. J no had just TP would base. See so now, he could go for an epic play. Oh. Little finger. Damage? There's no man on Slark. No, there's no way they fight. Oh, they're sucking in Slark. Sucking mm. Slark a little bit. This, this is still so so sketchy. Maybe with Clock, if Clock like. Aggressively TPs, they find like. There's no slaughter at least. Slot going yeah, in. Yeah, here we go. Hoping to bait them into a little clump. And now Larry's li moving quarks. forward. Maybe they have to finish off the shaman. Here we go, the black hole. La Larry? La Larry? Here we go, gonna, gonna hold La it. Larry? 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 That was actually a really that great fucking good hook. He threaded the Dolans, I don't even know how. That's nuts. He threaded the Dolans. I it's, we, were, we were about to see what we predicted, and through the sheer skill of I spanked myself, uh, he, he dodged it. It was amazing. I think they're so little, you should be able to shoot over them, but Clock is also quite small. Mm. He's a wee lad. What you should be able to do is raise the hook up and the range halves, but interceding things do not block it. Hello? You be able to attack Hello? With feet to make them slower. But it's time. That's plus one, Aji. Fishface 650 just for Zubed for a month. Merci, Fishface 650. Slaughter's hanging around mid. Oh! 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 Black hole. On two. That's a, that's a little bit of a bait play. Yes, Larold. A little bit of a bait. Yes, Larold. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I don't. I don't know about. Yeah, I, I, th I think jetpack. You should. You, you're above everything. That would be something. Because the problem is, you miss your hook. You're just like, mm. well, shit. Sven is just up here by himself, spending it up. And now they hunt him. Boom, there he oh, he didn't have hook. If you watch the pros play clock, they never cog someone in. They hook, run past, cogs them back into team. That way they're, they're kind of boxed in. Otherwise, they just cut one hook and they run out, and your team are kind of stuck. And then you got to help them through, and it's a, it's a bit awkward. What does mm. Viagra BNS mean? Koala Killer, Viagra BNS. Um, BNS. Uh, Anyone in chat now? Not sure, to be honest. No, not targetable. Not targetable. It, it, it's the whole point of clockwork is that it's a hook shot. It's a stun. It's it's a it's a skill shot. Oh, hello! Speaking of, 
Ah, more stuff out there. Oh, hello. Weird. This is pretty scary. Yeah. They do get clocked. They get the initiation, but they did get they the, the slaughter. We're a team. So slaughter, slaughter held them up whilst they killed clock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Viagra bought and sold. Ah, <laughs> that's funny. He's advertising. I respect it. Robertus is here. Or hiding around the tree. Wants to bait it out with the ult, but um. Well, that's absolutely dreadful from Robertus there. You could see the cogs ticking in the mind there. I'm gonna hide behind these trees. They're gonna run up the hill, and I'm gonna get them with my ult. And I'm gonna kill. Checks notes. All of them. Slark. <laughs> Does Sven punch hard enough to, like, burst down a slug? I mean, he can't click him when he's in his ult. That's the problem. Yeah. But, I, th can, I mean, later can... on, slug doesn't get, like, mega tanky, does he? His whole thing is... I mean, he gets agi for armor, though. He does. He does. But, you know, how much is he going to get, realistically? He's got eight. At least eight. So there's, there's two things. First of all, Greater Cleave. And I, this is very historical knowledge. It may have changed. It's, it calculates its damage based on the targets you're hitting's armor. So if we're hitting a, let's say, I don't know, a lion next to Slark, and you're cleaving the Slark, it's based off of lion's armor, not Slark. So you can very quickly kill someone like Slark with a crit or two if you get lucky. But in general, it's going to be a slightly Slark favorite matchup. Just because you have... It's much easier for you to do things than for Sven. Do you get Kanda on Sven? No, never. <laughs> To burst the slug, just this one game. No, burst down slug, no. magic damage, it, it just, burst down slug. Uh, I think refresher, candor, storm hammer, ags. No. Uh, the thing is, your ags and a daedalus is the same principle that you're going to hit and potentially crit, <clears throat> but without the the shitness of having to go terrible most out items. <laughs> He does need Ags this game. If he goes blink, he loses. <laughs> if we get Ags, he can actually just one-shot Pugna, like most fights, and there's a chance. But holy fuck, Enigma has blink BKB. <laughs> oh, he got Philosopher's Stone. This game's over. There's no there's no point even watching. <laughs> this guy's going to have like a, a refresher in 10 minutes time. There's no, there's no way you're winning this game on Radiant. No way. Top tower is under attack. Brilliant smoke from the lads there. Love that. They've smoked and stayed in pretty much the exact same spot. They are. I, I get the concept right. They're waiting for someone to come to this wave and then kill him. But that someone is Slark. Here we go. Yeah. Massive chain stun. Follow it up. Why am? Phantom Pin 60, 19 just for Zubed for 47 months. 47 months. Merci beaucoup. And he never gets BKB. He always just gets Ags instead on the Slardo. He says you don't need BKB if you get Ags. The Ags is insane. The Ags is good, but the, the whole... You, you can't always buy them with the same one. You gotta, you gotta have the flexibility to see which one's better. Goodbye, Larry. Oh, monsieur! Oh. They are clicking them down there. This is lovely. Yeah. Bap, bap. Oh, monsieur! Ce n'est bien! Ce n'est bien! Ce n'est pas bien! Can they turn around? They got silence again. Oh, le silence! Oh, no, the slark! Slark, on sent ici! Le prince est terrible! Quand le killer is in trouble! Oh, I'm pretty sure Microsoft PowerPoint could develop him there, he did not! Now he too may be dead. You saw more! Get him! It now. No, they got him! Very good. Oh, very good. That's crazy. You just reading out the numbers has made me fluent in French. Can <laughs> <laughs> I just say, Twitch auto moderation is so fucking funny. Oh, God. Look at, look at what Jonas <laughs> just permitted. <laughs> Alright. Ah. Mm, okay. Sure. <laughs> he hit the black hole. Ah. Penguinel just rose for a month. 
It's never not funny. No, it's never not funny. But it's just like, when I see the added permitted term, <laughs> that means if you look at the permitted terms, some of them, are, if anyone looked at them in isolation without context, you'd think, <laughs> This is a cesspool of QAnon white nationalists in this fucking channel. What's happening here? Unbelievable. Oh, no. I don't understand how Twitch gets like more problems with TOS than any other platform. But there's always like some sort of like weird streaming meta around TOS. Or oh. In comes the Sven. Oh, good save. Lovely little slot shot. But... I mean, this is the whole BKB duration. That was a beautiful black hole. If only our man was ready! It's in! There, it there it is. I, I think Viper can carry this fight pretty fucking hard. Let's see. Oh, you can, no, you can do it, but you don't need to run. He's scared. He's oh, scared. maybe he did. Maybe he did. Lion stuns were still there. But this is this is a problem. You, Radiant have to do everything like three times better than Dire to yeah. win the fight. Yeah. And if they, if there's one like black hole that happens, they just lose instantly. I feel like Brocious happen a lot more in these houses than even they're just like my five stack games. No. I don't know. I don't know. Do you know what it is, Joe? We're often losing. Oh, yeah. Because I'm seeing both teams, so it doubles the amount of Brocious I see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. I will also say, because of Goon TI, a lot of these lads will have learned about prioritizing Roche and objectives and things like that. Because uh, that's something most coaches would have would have imprinted. Mm. And so the things that stick around is going to be us saying, just fucking go Roche every game. That is a Joe you hear, yes. A solitary Joe. It's me. Editor of the vid that we put out today, if you haven't seen it, went up on my channel at about 3 o'clock. First guide in many a moon. Hopefully it does okay. Have you have you checked the stats yet? Have you checked to see if you got con confetti? Well, I assume you, you will always have confetti. It's your first vid in ten years. No, it's not. No, it's not actually. It's uh, because you did the monkey one as well, right? I've, I've done a few vids this year actually. In the top off. Boom! Welcome to Pyrian Flaxes. Have a look. How do I? What do you mean confetti? Boom! Welcome I know, to Pyrian I know Fla all the the YouTube guys. It like compares it to your most recent ten videos. And it if it's like the, the, I'm not sure it shows it by default now because people Damn, complained. I think people. Yeah, were it was too. It was too like it was mentally too brutal. Harsh. Yeah. Mentally yeah. brutal. What when you didn't get it? When you didn't yeah. get it, people would just be sobbing and like deleting videos. You'd or... be like, oh, you got a ten out of ten. Yeah. Like ten out of ten being bad. It's the worst. Have you lost ten videos? Right, bro. Oh, they have like. Um... They've got the viper here. That's a nice two man yeah. from code name Duchess. Dyer's middle tower. Oh, this is uber, uber over. I mean, no, Sven, you can't really fight. Yeah, Sven has kind of not been with them quite a bit. They got caught out there. As the goons will lose four men when they could lose one. I can, I can relate to that. You see the enemy and you think we should turn around on them here. I'm sure it's just this one guy. It's like an immediate d desire to help your friends. <clears throat> what you should do is say, hey. We don't know where these guys are. There's no way Clock is just here in our jungle by himself like an idiot. Unless he is, though. Just on the off chance, let's but all what if die. He is? Amos, was that the monkey one or the one where I hated Blood Bowl? I'm sorry, Lieutenant Marshmallow. I'm sorry. But I do play Dota like every day and have done for 12 years, so welcome. He's got no TP. He's oh, he's got well. no TP. Oh, no. Can we oh. get a hook? He's gating. Double jump, double jump. You can get him. Yeah! Jump, Let me in. No! TP. 
Tibi, 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 what, the black hole cancels TP? Oh, maybe, no, this is this is the Giga Chat play. You don't black hole, and then you force a fight while BKB's down. Oh! oh I like that, Joe. I would have just said, we can kill You're him. You're stacking the, the uselessness of the hero. So he can't fight now for 65 seconds. So he's as good as dead. So I, I wrote this really long essay about action movies, which is like Radiant one of my favorite things. Talking about films and action movies is a thing that I really like. The problem was, I wanted to have clips from action movies in it. And some get claimed, some don't. And it would just mean continually editing and re-uploading all this shit. And I was like, oh man. So I wanted to act out the scenes. I was Maybe I should get Ashman and his brother to act out the scenes. How long are you down in Bristol? A week. I mean... I, I pitched it to Tom B. And he was like, yeah, sounds good. But obviously he was very busy. But... We yeah. could do it. It's, it would only be like 10 or so. And the shitter they are, the better. Like, I want them to be really funny. But I think maybe for this time, it's a little short notice. But I'm again, down again in July. That could be really funny. Like, act out a scene from Die Hard. You know what I mean? <laughs> Make Joe edit it, says Stompy Goon. Make Joe edit it. Make me. That's how it works, Joe. Well, you work is, for me uh, now. Oh, he's very big. He's got the black hole off. He has captured the Sven. But the Sven is still alive. His BKB is down. I don't think the Sven can fight this, though. The Slarkot. Just going to have to slowly run away. Trying to fight him. I'm not going to be here now. They might just call it. Call it. You could, um, you could recruit a mass amount of goons for uh, a war scene at Brum. That would be funny. War movies are not in my action movie list, though. Be uh, because they're war movies. They're different. Because an action movie is meant to be fun. And there's nothing really fun about watching, like... But imagine doing a, a storming, storming of the beach from Saving Private Ryan. But it's just... In the canals of Brum. <laughs> they clamber out of the canals and attack a brew dog. <laughs> that would be funny. Or like a German restaurant that we find. <laughs> oh, that's, I went to a really nice German place in, well not really nice it was just very loud and great beer Steins? Uh, yeah Steins oh. it was the Munich, Munich Cricket Club oh yeah in Victoria and not only was the food just fucking you know oh so good German but massive Steins of beer and Steins of cocktails as well which was a great innovation yeah so they don't call them Steins I've learned which I was very upset about that is upsetting actually Oh my oh, god, man. he's in! He's he can't up. hear anyone! He can't do anything! Oh, he's in the, he's in the bubble. Oh, he got oh, the cleave! The he's dying on the blade mail! Robertus is always still up, he does get a couple! Can they get more? Robertus ultra, 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 ultra low! Koala, you must Koala click! Here, though. A little bit of a crush. Alright, nice, Look, nice. The Pug not looking for more? Giving up. They didn't lose any buildings there. They have. Why did they, they, why they give up on the Pugna chase? Because he's just a little weaselly guy. They don't care. He's just the it's, mid. It's he's fine. running just at 400 MS. Mid. You're not going to catch him. Yeah, Look at him go. Slardar sprint? No. Slardar blink? No. No No way. No way. Too fast. No. Too schmeedy. Okay. No, that's fair. Can't, can't be caught. Look at him. He's just a little baby as well. You're going to kill a baby, Joe? <laughs> Jesus. Would. Don't add that as a mid to term, please. <laughs> um, so, Return of the King and the Lord of the Rings movies are indeed action movies. Uh, they are not war movies, even though they have battles in them, because it's fictional. It's not like fucking, what was that called? All Quiet on the Western Front, which is not an action movie, even though it has action. No one's watching that and thinking this is exactly the same as Rambo. They're clearly very different films. War movies have action, but the focus is war is hell. Not, look at how that guy's head blew up, which is what you think watching an Arnie movie. Oh, they are throwing, and they're throwing hard. That's a nice lockdown. Oh, here it comes from Larry! Oh. Wallop! The three oh man! The day. four man! The wipe! It's happening! I'm Glorious. sorry I ever spoke against you, Larry. You deserve the triple kill.
That was nice. You that was nice. A well. nice haul. I'm very proud of you. Dota 2 is a fun game. By the way, Owie's saying that. That's my favorite thing. The balanced game is <laughs> entire thing is looking for imbalances. <laughs> I am I am rooting for a Falcon's downfall harder than I've almost rooted for anything. But Why? It's just too good. They're uh, too fucking good, and it's always the same every. No matter even when like a team has a brief spike of hope against them, they still just somehow weasel and fight their way back into it. So we've been here before, right? Um, we've we've been here before with lots of other teams throughout Dota history. The old OG when they had Miracle and Fly on, and. Yeah. They just fucking won everything, and everyone was like, oh man, these guys are so good. VP would always go through these phases where they would just fucking win everything, and everybody was like, oh my god, how are you gonna beat this VP team? Oh shit, Robertus oh is in god. like flames! Mask of Madness, no BK, no, uh, no ulti, and now he is dead. Unless. Unless he's tanking the damage the fight instead. Of a glimmer to safety. Been good, still surviving a little bit. Might actually he's start actually away. Slot our tank at all. Grimold is up, Gerontius! Fucking Christ, man! Not even using the ult. I don't think I've, I don't think I've actually seen the combo a spell with Grimold once this entire no. game, by the way. No. And they have so many good spells. I, I, I'm not kidding. This lad will not use the Grimold. Oh. Oh. Uh, Another glimmer to safety, maybe. They are. I'd say they're holding, but they it's are losing a lane. <laughs> two lanes of racks. Yeah. They, yeah. It's, yeah. Well, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. The buildings, you know. The Cartes are gonna get it done. No one's killing them. <laughs> One more. Oh my God, the Cartes got <laughs> it done. They bloody did it. They are siege engines. They are engines of war. Yeah, secret. Like, it always happens. So, Falcons won Daka, oh, and Sven. then they they won Dream League. Let's let's see how they do at Brum. Let's see how they do at the next Dream League. I think it's Kuala Lumpur, right? Oh, and then let's see how they do at God. TI. What happened? That's a tilt GG. That's a real tilt GG. He dies alone mid to Slark and just GG's out. And now they're quite, they, someone's cancelled yeah, the it. That's not ended. so they call funny. GG and the game's not ended. That... <laughs> That's so yeah, funny. Yeah, they called funny. it. Yeah, they, they call it. Even if it's one guy tilting, it has been called. There we go. Well, you don't do that. So That's a nice little LVP for Sven. Yeah, LVP yep. Sven. Can someone do a Brum Primer for people who don't really know about Pro Dotes? Oh, that's a good idea, Amos. GGEZ, says Robertus. He was not happy. He's fuming. Not sure why he's so unhappy. I will say, old Gerontius, just a tip, bud. Uh, please cast your spells. Um, your ult stops Slark from leaping. He can't leap. Tether him to someone immobile. Um, you know, like a uh, fucking code name Duchess or something like that, or or get him next to Larry Lama. No more, no more, uh, no more problems. You silence them both, and then you might be able to blow them up. They had the they had the potential. I feel this team is not a bad team. Grant his cookies in terms of the heroes they picked and everything. Larry Lama, yes, a problem, no doubt, but they definitely had ways and means. They just shattered up the wall, so to speak. It was not great. Alfredo had a bit of a free game. Is, uh, is Ashwin back or not? I don't know. Uh, he said five minutes if we need a third caster. Yeah, we can we can get him in. Joe, you've done enough for me yep. this day. Good. Nice. <laughs> I will go get some food in that case. Oh my god, yes, please do. Little snack, little... Oh, and my dirt has crashed, so even... I'm oh, perfect timing. Great right. timing. Perfect. <laughs> G Gs. G thanks, Liam. Right, I'll catch you later. See you, bud. Thanks for casting, Joe. Appreciate it, mate. And thanks for the fucking amazing work on the vid. You are most welcome. Thank you, brother. You. See you See next ya. week. See you. Bye. What well, lad. So Alex streamed her drawing, the drawings. Yeah. And it was funny because she was reading... Like, like when you write something for yourself, 
and you know how you're going to say it. And it's more like placeholder. And I know the way I write stuff like that is I'll plan out more or less what I want to say. And then maybe at the last minute, I'll change some stuff or I'll, I'll think, actually, I'll say that differently or I'll explain this a bit more or anything. She's reading it. It's like, what the fuck is Ted going on about? She nice messaged me about one bit. Star. She's like, this isn't Nujai right. Nujai the gifted mist 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 <laughs> neuf a subscription. Thank Nujai you for the sub. Nujai the gifted attire un sub to mist 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 neuf. Merci beaucoup. Mist 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 neuf. Oh, thank you, Njeld, for the gift sub. So it was uh, some advice she gave me about not TPing to lane because then you won't be there to TP and save your mid. She was like, no, that, that, I don't know what I told you. That's wrong. And she like made me take it out of the vid because I was like, I, I said that it was her that told me this. So she wanted to make <laughs> sure it was right. That's quite funny. I'm going to pop to Lou while waiting for Ashwin. All right. Yeah, it was uh, it was it was wasn't a decent thing to do, but it does happen quite a killer. It is it is not the end of the world. I think it's it's typically a one in house ban for that kind of behaviour, but that's up to Ari. Are you asking Ted that? Because that's hilarious. OOC as well, out of character. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll make sure he answers. I'll get you his commission price. Larry, you, you more than made up for it, mate. You got the Philly stone? Got the blink BKB eggs, you crushed it. OOC, how much does do you cost to write a law for a game? What? Out of character, so out of whatever character you are right now. How much how much Oh, out of curiosity. <laughs> how out much, of curiosity. How much does do you cost? What does that mean? How much? How much would he have to pay you to write law for his game? I've never done that. What kind of game? If if you're legit, I do have a business email address. You can get in touch with me on that. But you do need someone to write it because uh, spelling is important in law. I'd say. Where's Ashy B? Oh! Said he'd be five minutes, oh, but an uh, Ashwin five minutes is potentially not always the most reliable unit of time. MMORPG. I can't imagine an MMORPG would need me to write for it. No offense. Oh, look, we've got a new person. TJ Lindsay. Look at this. Remember Wait, since I see. 26th of March. Who insta left the Discord? Uh, they were saying, well, as we predicted, that uh, Roberta's tilted and gg without saying anything and then left the discord yeah no we saw that he was very tilted he had a bad game i believe the typical is a one in-house ban for that sort of behavior but again that's up to up to Ari. <laughs> uh on rainbow um I, i'm I just just message me dude on on fucking periumflax at gmail.com Do, 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 do. Tried to uh, do a tops and I didn't realize it was his thing. I went mid on the night, the fun game, but we lost sadly. I was I was curious about one element of the mid on the night. Go on. Why did you go a full echo saber before brown boots? Just didn't need it. The ladder <laughs> was up against was slow as fuck. I ran and him down a, a couple of times. Do you know honestly? That's a very Greg attitude. No no care gank. No care leave lane. Yeah. Echo Saber. Yeah. Just wanted it. Fair enough. Just wanted it. 
I mean, I knew we'd lost anyway, <laughs> in all honesty. <laughs> we had Medusa pick the same phase as AM, it happens. It does happen. We didn't have any answer for him, and I was like, oh, I'll just fucking get Necro Saber and try and biff this Zeus. I know, look, uh, I'm sure Robertus had just had a bad game, maybe had a bad day, got tilted, and was just fed up. Yeah, it's it's the sort of thing that is it's it's not pleasant to do, but it's not the sort of thing that we're going to witch hunt someone out of the community for. Yeah, if he'd really said some unpleasant shit to you guys before storming off, completely different. Yeah, um, absolutely. Get in touch with us if if anything occurred in the Discord that wasn't just a course. man tilting and leaving. But if he was like, "Oh, I just left," come on, it happens to everybody. You know, you just had enough bad day, bad game on stream and everything in houses and you think fuck me this is so frustrating and you just kind of want out it happens i mean you know, i'm not gonna I'm not gonna hate for that it does happen um and it was a very frustrating game to play in uh from the looks of it so yeah it's a tough one but i mean i agree like it's not the done thing we generally want to have people say to their team lads we should just gg this is over and then they can go yeah fair enough and you just it's only a 10 seconds 20 seconds it's not like, you know, it's costing you much time and effort. So, yeah, just chat with your team. Because if you do type GG, uh, in that situation, the game is over. If it was mid, you'd you'd given up first blood. You know, we're not going to enforce that. But we don't want people just typing GG all the time. It's really annoying. I know Larry wanted another black hole. Once you get the dopamine rush of that, that four man. Oh, that was beautiful. It, there's nothing else in Dotes that hits quite like it. I, I that should be yeah, I'll boot up. A big echo slam, mate. That's what. That's true. I had a couple of those the other day. But do you do you feel that the the black hole gets you more time to appreciate the moment? That's true, but it, it's not as cool. You can't hear it on the other side of the map like you can with Echo Slam, where you can hear the <laughs> from all over the place. Like it's like a global sound, a big slam. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, if you land the big black hole, your teammates have time to really be like, Whoa! like that, and you can see it. And then you're, the other thing is with Slam, you blink, you cast it, the damage is done. But with the black hole, it's like, is something going to happen? Am I going to accidentally press spacebar and cancel this? You know, is something going to cancel it? So there's always a moment of, are we going to see the full duration here? Old Gerontius, right, old Gerontius yeah. you were a shambles. Didn't want to cast your fucking ult ever. I don't know why these Grimstroke lads refused. And no coordination. You had double hex, double shackle, just with one other guy. Anyway. I was on. I was going to ask about this. <laughs> why did you yield an Eidolon at the end? But no, that makes sense. <laughs> I thought maybe he was going for an epic play. He's going to stop that 10 damage. How are you, Ashy B? Very well, yeah. very well. I've had a busy couple last two evenings, but mm. uh, we're back. We're Hell back yeah. for one game of the in-houses. Hell yeah. Just how I like it. You talk I had a, a, ra a, rare, a rare Monday social. Oh. It went until 2.30. 2 yeah, I think you said you were very drunk. I, I vaguely remember. When? I th well, you said you were on a train and you were very drunk. Wasn't that right? When was that? I didn't think I spoke spoke about anything yesterday at all. That was that was uh, last week. That was last, yeah, that was, week. Yeah, last yeah. week. You're you're yeah you're confusing yesterday and last week, which yeah. is actually quite impressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens. It's my birthday. Who have we got? Week. Jam John, Mitchy. I haven't heard of any of these. Who the hell is Time Twister? Time Twister I, I, is a recognisable name for me. Who the hell Mitchie is Soup? Jam Jar. Soups. Don't know. Soups is Rude back up. in, unfortunately. His jog performance in the first game, not sufficient to put him off. Jam Jar, I don't recognise. Time Twister, vaguely recognise. They are in the mm guild, so they must be yeah. relatively... Uh, so basically, they're, they're defects, and they need to be removed from this community immediately. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you hear that, mm enjoyers? Mm lovers? I want you out. I want you out. I'm going to start the mmm purge. Mmm, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Played with mmm James this afternoon. He does he say mmm quite a lot. Like, he really does. He does. Not even as a meme. He sometimes just says it. I wonder if that's a nickname his mates gave him. 
Mmm, James. <laughs> it's very good. Yeah, it's always interesting wondering how all these names came about. I mean, glasses. What would what would compel you to call yourself a jam jar? Was there a jam jar related incident? Look, did it did it involve his butt? What was going on? <laughs> what I'm saying is boots, glasses, jam jar, bonks. Get them in a team together. Let's see what happens. Yeah, because it's going to be god awful. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Super Cunts versus Bingus Academy. Bingus Academy, a GTI team, were Super, right. super Cunts? Super Cunts were not, mm. I believe. Radiant Team Ban. Radiant Team Ban. You watched the game today, Ted? The England or game? Yeah, no. two bits of it. No. We, we, we were not made. Friendly, isn't it? Ten seconds yeah. yeah, so who gives a shit? Could not care less. It is it is a good representation of, of how poorly we are going to do in the Euros. Yeah, I know. Apparently, uh, I mean, is, is Henderson still fucking playing for England at the moment? Yeah, they wheeled him out once again. Unbelievable. I mean, look, Five Southgate is remaining. the best England manager we've had in ages. Uh, the thing is, I'm starting to, I used to think that, and now I'm just thinking, like, our players are really, really, really good. Yeah. So I reckon you could probably get anyone in, and they probably do as well as Southgate. Yeah, maybe. I, I do think he's built up a loyal group that he knows he can get performances out of. We have yeah, some I know, really but that, good that, that group's been there for, like, fucking eight years now. Yeah, like, I know. Some of them are a bit old. Yeah. I mean, he, the fact that we Dyer fucking team. can't replace fucking Maguire and people like that is just kind of like... Hmm, should it really still be Pickford and Maguire? I don't know. You know, maybe we could try something else here. He's going to be wheeling Maguire and Stones out when they're playing for some League Two side at the tail end of their career. <laughs> I do think he bottles it. He's a bottler, Southgate, when it comes to um, yeah, in, in all big things. things. Like... And he's a bit of a nice guy. He needs to be the boss. He doesn't strike yeah. me as a boss. He's more like your sort of line manager. Yeah, no, we'll take that up to HR. Thank you so much for that feedback. But uh, look, everything you know. He's, he's, a, he's a receptionist. <laughs> he's, not, he's not a manager. Receptionist. Oracle, very hot pick with the uh, the goons right now. I think the one thing you said is the fact that he's a nice guy means that he hasn't like lost the dressing room. So people are still kind of happy, I suppose. Yeah. Radiant team ban. I mean, we've got some really, really good players, especially attacking wise. It, yeah. It is just, um, I think, a lack of tactical nous. I don't really think Ten seconds that remain. our whole thing of giving the England job to just an English lad who went through the under 21s and all the rest of it. It's like, he, he, I don't genuinely believe that he's had to do Radiant what a lot of club team. managers have had to do and really get inside the tactics of how to beat teams. Because with the England team, you know, you, there's no transfers. So it's just about balancing who you pick. And I think he kind of finds a way to play that's okay, but there's not really much variability to it. There's nothing clever about it. It's just very straightforward, isn't it? Remaining. Do you know, it reminds me a lot of, of fucking EG and Shopify. <laughs> we, we've, we've got one play and, and that's about it. And then, you know, midway through the tournament, teams figure out, oh yeah, they're just playing like basic Brexit ball. Yeah. And they just set up against as well and, and we're fucked. You know, another thing is, I think it's easy to forget how often we scored goals in the World Cup and the Euros from set pieces. Like, yeah. we were a pretty set piece heavy team. In terms of open play creation, it was really not... Some games it was great. I mean, like the Ukraine game, that was a fucking great performance. We've had some other good ones. We were good against Italy. We were good against France. We just lost. And it's like, I'm sure these teams aren't better than us. That was a very mediocre Italy side. And it's just like, I don't know. <coughs> there's no, There's nothing clever about the way we play. And a lot of our, yeah. our gameplay did rely on getting the ball in the box and getting Kane and Maguire to get their head on it. Which I'm sure was terrifying for Johnny Foreigner. Doesn't like the ball in the air, does he? Get it in the air, mate. 
Just fucking lump it up there. Also, was Gareth Southgate? I mean, as far as I can tell, all he's ever managed is England and in England under twenty ones, right? He never managed a club side. Yeah, we're I not don't. picking the very best of the best here. He's just like the guy. He didn't manage Middlesbrough, did he? No. Oh, sorry, he did manage Middlesbrough. How'd he do? Middlesbrough. He was there for one season. Oh no, he wasn't. He was there for three seasons. He got relegated and fired. <laughs> and then they were like, "Yeah, let's get him in." Get him in. Five seconds remaining. How they signed it, Afonso Alves. God Almighty! <laughs> in December two thousand and seven, Arsene Wenger suggested him as one of several English man England managers who were all good enough to manage the national team. I think because they probably asked Arsene again. Yeah. Middlesbrough managed to pull clear of the bottom three late on. Southgate would go on to guide his side to a 13th Dying. play finish the Premier League. Facts. And they beat Man City 8-1 at home in 2007-8. Yeah, well, that was 2007-8 Man City. That is the old Man City. Who was yeah. in their side? Man City 2007. Fucking Jolian Lescott. So let's look at the. This is. Thank God you're here. Because I was desperate to talk about football. And Plague's no fucking good, is he? Let's have a look at the squad. Um, Mika Richards, Michael Ball, Neda Manua. Um, Neda Manua, a future QPR player. Richard Dunn played 36 times. Richard Dunn, also a future QPR player. <laughs> he was <laughs> shit. <farming> <laughs> he's, he's actually. I think he's got the record for most red cards. In, in the he was a clogger, wasn't he? That was like when they had guys like um, Ilano. Um, yeah. Michael Johnson, so Michael Johnson, everyone says, should have gone on to be like a great English midfielder. Radio and team. his career just completely went off the rails. Who, oh, you had Ben Gianni up front was for them. Ben Gianni's a classic, yeah. Daniel Sturridge. Uh, Sturridge was at City then? Yeah. How about He's fucking been everywhere. I didn't realise he was ever at City. Uh, Georgia Samaras. Remember him? Yeah. Dimar Haman was playing there. What an old side. Christ. Five seconds remaining. Stephen Ireland. They had a team that was sort of like. Paul Dickov still played. He played once in the League Cup. Wow. This is a very, like, Palace team. <laughs> Just everyone. Yeah. Casper Schmeichel was there, only played seven times. Joe Hart was uh, main goalkeeper. Kelvin Atuhu. Remember him? Remember him? I don't, I don't even remember him. Yeah, I remember all of these lads. Gelson Fernandez, all of these guys. Remaining. You'd see them. It'd be like a completely different team week to week. They had oh, so God, many amazing. fucking players. Holy shit. 38 first team players. <laughs> so Samaras was at Heronvane, then City, then Lone was Celtic. He did well at Celtic. He went West Brom. <laughs> Had he loaned him to Al Hilal. He didn't score at Al Hilal. Then he scored two goals for Rayo. Rayo, Oklahoma City. <laughs> oh, what? Then he went to Varagotha, scored twice. And he retired four, six years ago. Played for Samson Sport when he was ancient. Remaining. Samaras, I remember him. Radiant team band. Nine goals for Greece. He's a striker. Nine. <laughs> yeah, but Greece are abysmal. But they won the Euro. They, they, I, I know, I know, but they're generally abysmal. They are abysmal. I've got a barking dog. I'll be back. All right, mate. Ten Radiant seconds remaining. Team ban. Dire team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick.
Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Morgan. Hello. <clears throat> How has the draft gone? I don't know. Me and Ashwin were talking about football. I do see ah, a fudge. And enough. a Nyx. My god. Against them. I see a bounty hunter, which should make Nyx very sad. Mm, well, well, we'll see. Yeah, we lost some goons when um, I had terrible internet. So, the downfall of the sub count began. TI, I'm away for like over three weeks. Come back, understandably, not really feeling like streaming for a little bit, so I took a break. Had a couple of months of recovering. Then Christmas. Then shit internet for like a month. And then just various other things have come up that have meant this. I went to Dream League for two weeks. Thought I might be streaming out there. Couldn't get too much streaming done out there. So it's just been... I haven't been putting the hours in, uh, to be honest with you. And the sub price rises, it didn't help. And also, everybody went back to work after COVID. That was the other thing. COVID was the gr the great days of the stream when everybody was stuck with nothing better to do than watch this shite. That is a disgusting pudge set. Look at that. Superb. It's got a walrus head on. The walrus is spectacular. I don't think I've got that. How do you get Oh, that? I like that. How do you get it? We can inspect in game. Manila Spirit Breaker. That's impressive. Apparently Ratchet is new new. So hence oh. the vanilla-ness. God, I don't think I've ever seen default spirit breaker. Uh, speaking of new you, new new you, hmm. new new. I was having a conversation with some lads at work. Where do you define the the boundary between young old and old young? What do you mean? So you got like youngsters like below twenty, right. they're young young lad. Yeah. And you got lads who are no offense above like 40 45 yeah who are kind of old old right where's the line where well, you're young old i'll stop you right or there you're old young i don't think 45 is old genuinely it because, is for most people yeah well, most most people not. who are young like I, I think it's entirely down to how old you are like my kids think i'm ancient and when they used to try to guess my age it was either like 27 because they have no idea would be like 80 i'll be like what the fuck are you talking about 80 so when someone says you know he's really old he's like 45 that's not old like my dad looks at me and he's like oh to be in my 40s again like he's nearly 80 that's old my mum's 80 yeah, this year that's the old. That 19 year old isn't young young that's quite old 19 respects, because a fucking two-year-old is young no, but I, I mean, those are literal babies, right? Like, those are really, really, really... I think <clears throat> old young, for me, is late 20s, about to hit 30. Yeah. That's like the that's edge. That's old young. I that's put old it, I young. Put it at 28. Young, uh, that was young my old? Young old is tougher. Because uh, I, don't, I don't know... What do I think old is? Because um, my dad is 75. Right. So he's old. But that's he's, old. But the, the, the continuum of aging really doesn't like it, it's not like a straight line anymore, you know? Yeah, I don't I don't think you well, I don't I don't know how to describe it. But Because he's a very active lad, so he's perfectly healthy. He right. Yeah. I mean it, it depends for different people. But like, he's fucking... he's like nearly thirty years older than me. Yeah. So I know uh, yeah, you, I mean you, we can't that... like if I'm old, he is like yeah, he's a like mummy. Old he's that old. Oh, are you saying that young old? I think young old is mid six retirement age, maybe young old. Because retirement, you, you're officially becoming an old. So you're leaving work. You're not going to do jack shit. You're going to just pot around in your pajamas. But you're still young enough to not actually pot around in your pajamas. But I feel like yes, okay. scary. I feel it's like true. there needs to be like a separate category, which also is like two years. ancient. Ancient. Yeah, like. Just a Ven could, could we say venerable? That's a much better Ven term. Venerable. Venerable is fine. Wise. Well, I don't know about wise. Wizened. My mum's old as fuck. She ain't wise. That's for damn. <laughs> <laughs> 
I played against a, a I played against a bounty mid today and absolutely dumpstered him. Well, I'm not surprised. It's yeah, really it was easy. Imagine, imagine if this was Hoz and he decided, oh, fuck, I'll, I'll play mid. I'll go a bit of bounty mid. No, it's quite good, actually. Hoz has had, a, has had a hard few days and dates. Has he? Uh, yeah, he yeah. has. Yeah. That was, that was yeah. more drama today. There was a game game yesterday where... So him and Rort's laying together is never going to work because Rort's can be quite vicious and Hoz can Rort's, be quite ineffective. Rort's expects a lot and Hoz provides very little. It, yeah. This, this sums up the relationship. So at, this, at, at one point in this game, <laughs> Hoz goes mid for the two-minute water rune. And as... Uh, a <laughs> off later, being bullied by two heroes, and you hear, "Oh, my Jakira's gone mid for the two-minute water room." <laughs> you are going to be quite angry, and Rorts was quite angry. Uh, but you know, we won that game. It was a bloody, it was a great time. Hoz actually stepped up quite a lot in the in the, like the the mid game and Who late was game. Who was he playing as? Jakira. He was he he literally solo won some team fights with some uh, uh, Macro Pirates and Ice Pass against right. a TB. But he comes into today. And he just has the most vicious internet issues, and you can feel it like the anger building up behind the lads because <laughs> you deal with a lot when you play with Hoz, but the internet issues on top—it's just brutal. Um, so he's he's now officially banned from all Dote games until he fixes his internet. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, Here, I'm going to leave it on Pudge. I'm going to grab some water. Okay. I'll grab myself a hot chocolate during the draft. It was a good soon. Do you know what I've gone for as my drink of choice? What have you gone for? To take a guess, but based on what you know about me. Ooh. Um. I'm surprised the answer's not flying out quicker. Is it supposed to? I don't really, I don't really pay attention to what you drink. I mean, cider would be my assumption. No, no, not non non alcoholic. Non alcoholic. Um. You know, I'm not a hot drink, hot drink enjoyer. I know you're not a hot drink enjoyer. It wasn't going to be a, a coffee or anything. I think. I was gonna say J two O, but I think that's Rorts actually. I think you're a squash man. You're a squash man. Fuck me. Yeah, you're, squash. A, you're a squash man at heart. Indeed. It, it just it just cheers me up. It just cheers oh, no, me up. Fair. It's 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 simple as. I really I've I've converted to being a coffee man these days. I'm, I love a good I, coffee. I uh I think I'm just like on the on the journey a bit later than than everyone else. What's this? Maybe I I'll, I'll learn to like coffee. I mean, not a coffee drinker. I, Do you drink tea? I don't. I I don't really like bitter things. Is is to make like I really don't like bitter. Things. You I play do with things. me. It's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't particularly like like beer the that until like the last year. Uh, so maybe maybe my my flip on on bitter coffee will come to you. Hmm. So I will say the coffee revolution for me was my parents showing me how to use all the cafetiers we have. Where it's like you can make nice coffee but without being an arsehole about it. And I was like, fucking in love. No more Josh, instant. Josh! No more instant. Come in, we come downstairs, Josh. This is, this is how to use the gold plate. So we have, we have three cafetiers. One's for one person, one's for two person, one's for three people. So you, you assess how many are having coffee, then you. Stick some uh, nice. lovely That's grounds at the bottom of the cafe. Yeah, get some get some and have a nice coffee. It's lovely. And all the little tips and tricks. You've got to, you've got to, but what got to, if there are four lads? Then we're in fucked. trouble. Well, you can use a combination of two to make quite a lot of numbers. That's true. Four plus yeah. three plus two does add up to Josh. I won't answer that. It's nine. Uh, Pay attention, <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> um... And you know all the little tips and tricks. I, she said, "My mom said, yes. You want if you want a nice crema, you got to put a little bit of boiling water in first, leave it for a couple of seconds, then put the rest in." And it's true. It's lovely. So what is that thing degassing they talk about when it comes to making coffee? That's something. Degas. Degassing. Degassing. Yeah. I think that's something you do to a cow. When they're <laughs> that's what I do every morning, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I drink. I used to drink a lot of coffee, um, and then when I had the old dicky ticker stuff, I switched to tea almost exclusively for, gosh, years. Now I'm back on one coffee a day, um, and I, I really do love a good cup of coffee. I think my the, the point where I really fell in love with coffee again was flat whites. I really like a flat white. I just think that's just a really nice cup of coffee, um, and I like that. I think there could definitely be some hooks thrown out here. By Super Duper. I think Dorsey might be in, not Dorsey rather, Glasses is in significant trouble. 
He's Lance dead. is down. Took a long time for a TP to come through, and now it's too late. Yeah. I will say, if I'm if I'm out and about ordering coffee, it's a cappuccino every time. Mm, I'm a flat Love white, a cappuccino. Man. Well, I, I, as as a non-coffee enjoyer, when I saw when I saw Plague and, and Arca box last weekend, Arca suggested a, a mocha because I quite like hot chocolates. Because I'm, I'm just a child inside, um, and I didn't really like it. It was, it, it was just it was just a worse hot chocolate. I, I didn't see that. <laughs> That's a good you were very brave about getting through it, though. And you made complimentary yeah. noises throughout. So Arca felt very good about his choice. Yeah. We just talked about chess, which made me feel very distinguished. We, we had, we had, we had, we were going through chess lines. We were sitting in an Oxford coffee shop, surrounded by students on their laptops or entrepreneurs exchanging code, sitting in the middle of the table discussing chess, sipping our coffee. It was a fantastic day. It's the sort of thing you'd expect in Vienna in the 19th century. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, interesting enough, we talked about the Vienna Gambit. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my glasses are just getting demolished. Yeah, right? it's, well, yeah. What can you do against all these fucking sh shurikens? Shuriken! Yeah, it's odd. Whenever we're playing against a bounty, he's always this guy who's just ripping your eyes up. Yeah. He's just killing you, carry over and over. No yeah. one can do anything. And the bounty on your team is just feeding relentlessly under the towers. <laughs> He's level 5 at like 15 minutes. What is he even doing? He's baiting. Yes! Oh, there it is. There's the hook. <laughs> oh, he's gonna, Surely he's gonna this guy must well. die. How did he nah. not... Oracle, man. Oracle is a strong hero. So Oracle is not If I could have killed him, Pudge had phase boots up, he had well... to rumble. Soups is this is a problem with core pudge, you see. You're more interested in farming and surviving, not fleep. He's got how many fleep has he got? He's got none fleep zero, at eight zero minutes. Fleep. He's got none kills at eight minutes. None it's kills, the, none, none kills, kills, none fleep, none assists. And as we know, kills are the only source of fleep known to man. I think Tiny oh. in referring to our, go. Uh, we're referring to our coffee shop. Dorsey. Dorsey's tanking a lot of tower hits. If there's a TP mid here, he will die. Oh, oh <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Fuck yes. I'm a, I'm a big glasses fan these days. Yeah, these let's, go glasses, let's go glasses. Let's go glasses. Let's go glasses. Let's go. Oh, God, glasses, please. God, glasses. Yeah, the CSing was a bit rough, but can't deny the play. Radiance middle tower is under Tiny Int plague in chat has been on your case this evening, mate. Yeah, he did. Uh, he shit talked to Posh you are already. Uh, What's and painful then, uh, commentary? What's he talking about? Well, I think it was about the coffee shop, which makes Wait, me wonder, like, in, in Scotland, do they just do they just drink like muddy water and just hope they don't die from the illness? Oh, someone from Scotland, someone talking about hot water is fucking <laughs> doing my heat and I can't. You southerners and your changes in temperature. What's wrong with cold? What's wrong with freezing cold, you sassanite bastard? <laughs> Speaking of eating the beans raw, good good car snack is uh, beans raw. Beans. Oh yeah, raw, raw that, beans. That's actually quite useful when you're yeah, flying. Wait, what, what did you say, Blake? Chocolate. If, if, when you're driving, chocolate covered coffee beans in the car is an emergency. Like you're chocolate feeling a bit tired. Chocolate covered yeah. coffee beans. Where do you yeah. get them from? Is that an M and S product? I don't know actually. I just know we have a little uh, a little packet in the car for emergencies. I used to eat them all all the time <laughs> when I was a kid. I've never actually. even seen them. Yeah, it's literal raw coffee beans. Like it's a very strong flavour, but it really does wake you up. Correct? It is. It is strong. <laughs> so degassing is because somebody in chat said that some gas gets trapped in the coffee when it's been, I guess, harvested or whatever. So the degassing, when you pour some hot water on, removes that or allows that gas out, so you get a cleaner flavour. See, this is the sort of thing I, I don't quite get. Well, yet. When you I'm say just... clean a favour, is that removing the bitter? I guess. How do glasses so. take no damage from that first Whenever shield, I tell people I don't I like coffee shield bitter, they uh... always bang on about the fact that coffee's not bitter. Well, I haven't had it yet. Show me. <laughs> no, it's, it's fair. Every, every time I've gone to have coffee, it's been bitter. But, I mean, it is bitter. That's the point of it. If I know, you, but yeah, people tell me. Like... What, in fact, I, I specifically remember Greg telling me what good coffee is not bitter. <laughs> oh, well, well, I'd say good coffee can be bitter. It doesn't taste burnt, which bad coffee can taste burnt. So yeah, not so exactly. much bitter is just like Starbucks sort of burnt. But I think, it, it, I mean, it, it's a bitter flavour, undeniably. Bitter? No, I wouldn't say bitter, mate. No, no, no. Not by my standards as a northerner, no. Bitter is like, you know, when you hear a oh, sort of talking about Just a bit of a bitter human water, being, so that's, that's why it doesn't taste bitter to him, yeah. you know? His default is bitter, and therefore coffee is sweet. 
Is this an in-house? Hell yes, yeah, indeed. it's an in-house. We're watching a bounty mid. That's a bounty bot right now. Jam jar in trouble. Clonked. Yes, jam jar. I feel like Eagle has just been some kind of like spectator to everything happening. Not really he's, involved. He's sort of. He's showing oh, his ancient nice. oneness by always generally being in the right place. Yeah. He's showing Stunning. his in-houseness by not doing anything. What are, what are we doing? There is a stun here. There could I mean, have been. We're not going to cast any spells. No, we don't believe in spell casting. No, it's a waste of time, quite frankly. Abject disaster. Glass is not going for the famous. Uh, in fact, this uh, sorry, this was a game I cast last week mm. uh, the, from the GFG tournament. Where Epic Doom was playing Zeus Spin, and he built Manta, Manta first, mm. nothing else, just just Manta. How they do? They they did lose that game, I think. Uh, it was it was one one between them and G. Uh, but it was, I was not impressed. In comparison to say Louis Boom Louis B Mayer, how is he doing? Frightfully <laughs> sorry, sir. Didn't quite catch that. I think he'd rather see him opposite as David of Selznick. Brief him. I watched that the other day. I said, it's a good movie in, in parts. It's an okay movie in other parts. But the scene where, if you, I'm talking about Inglorious Bastards, the scene where yeah. he goes to. Oh ho! Oh ho! They're not going to get him. Oh, oh if Eagle, Eagle, if Eagle that was react so to the shit! Characters. Oh, he's so quick. Radiant's he's a quick boy. Is under attack. But this is the part of the game where you feel like Bounty Hunter is the most oppressive hero in Dota. Yeah. And in 10 minutes yeah. time, oh. he, he really falls off. I don't know, Bounty Bounty does can can carry if he builds... He's got to like build like the perfect item. Yeah, he, needs he, to he has no room for error. He can't waste his time on like a fucking Desso when he does it. Oh my god. If he needs a Desso, then he needs to build it. Yeah, it's, just, it's, com it's a complicated one. That's why the goons are so bad. The decision making from a goon is... Generally shot. Like I've always said, the, the lads may know how to click the buttons, but they definitely don't know how to itemize. Jam jar has been charged, but Ratch is going to be the one who gets punished. What were you saying about your favorite scene, Ted? Or your, your whatever so, scene? So, in Inglorious Bastards, the opening scene where he goes to Monsieur Perdu and goes to his house. Yeah, and he goes That's an amazing yeah. scene. I remember seeing yeah, that in the course. cinema. And it's the, it's the quiet pauses. Alongside the like when he whips out his massive pipe, stuff like that, it's just so good. Yeah. Um, some of it just kind of left me cold though. But some of it, it, it's good. It just could have been better. I wanted to see a little bit more about the bastards. It was all kind of, I don't know. We just didn't really get yeah. to know them. The the cinema. I, there, owner there was, was this weird mix of like super seriousness and yeah. then just Goofy. plain silliness which like took you out of it a it's lot constantly like the opening scene is so well done and so serious yeah and then it's like the bastards just felt like comic book stuff yeah i know they're, they're, it's meant to be like you know they're they're this group of like Radiance really happy and not happy but inspired americans i'd say right who are who represent everything that the the Nazis are not. Um, but they just portrayed them in such a weird Christ. way. Yeah. God, that was awful. That was all just awful dotes right there. Fucking hell. I was like, everything was bad there. Like they're, they're just a bunch of clowns. Like, like they, they do great work, but they are just a bunch of clowns. It's kind yeah. of odd. The artillery oh, is doing its work here. Ooh, That's it's a good. dead punch. There we go. Dorsey's oh, this is a lot of damage here. Dorsey's down. Ooh. They do have a bit of a train they can yeah. run on these boys. Yeah. Maybe Bounty's, Bounty's era is over. What nice. was that? Swing, nice. Swing and a miss. The hell was that? Absolutely <laughs> abhorrent. That dose. Jam Jar might even get punished now too. No, oh, he doesn't. just gets away. Careful, Mr. Miss TBM. Oh, that's fast. Shot glasses. Oh, glasses. I'm telling you, Glasses is a gamer. <laughs> Where's Soups? Why did he take so long to TP? He only just respawned. Nah, he was, he was alive by five seconds. Was he actually? Well, he was just TP. spectating, you know? You're locked in on the action. Soups! Dorsey's here. He wants blood. That's, that's money. 
you got to chase more lads. Thank you, crab sir. Crabzir just subscribed. Just subscribed. Radiance middle tower is under attack. I've got to say, this is shaping up to be quite the game of dotes. Yeah. It is the most even one we've had of the evening. 9-8, less than 1k advantage. With plenty oh. of action. Also, Ted, on Inglorious Bastards, the British are, of course, the most incompetent fool. Always. At every of stage. Course. We come in as, okay. like, just a bunch of bozos who are like, well, we'll put it up them, go get them, James, or whatever his name is. And then we just come in, like, within 10 minutes, we've already fucked. We've cocked it. Yeah. Yeah. As usual. I was watching The World at War, which is a classic documentary back in the 80s. Might have been in the 70s. Uh, Laurence Olivier is the narrator. It's obviously, it's a little dated, I suppose, in some of its, not conclusions, but some of its, the things that it focuses on, I think modern historians would maybe ask some questions about. But the interviews that they have are with guys who are like in their 50s and 60s, who were there. So the talking heads are not just some historian. It'll be like, this guy was the commander of the 4th German army. And we've got him on. <laughs> He's just chatting about it. Really, really interesting. Um, yeah. And just beautifully done. Very poignant, but really good. Chud Glass is saved! They are going to get punished team, big though. time. Oh, oh Eagle gets shit! Kill on Ratchet. <laughs> Turns it around, but that's that's three kills and three track kills probably. Yeah, maybe. Bounty going Ags. I think this might be incorrect play. This was what the guy did mid, and it's fucking useless. Yeah, it's just it's not. It it doesn't do as much as you think. Because <laughs> but I don't know. It's it it it, it it's like a little bit more damage, but at the same time you can only throw a shuriken every. Eight seconds or something like that. It's five every five seconds. You've got to track everyone in the fight. Yeah. You're not getting in there. You're not doing anything else apart yeah. from getting a bit of money. I think how much fucking clobbering you do. Like you do with yeah. Janata, especially when you get the what is it? Uh, no cooldown Janata at 25. That's just like insane damage. Yeah, you should just build like a like Deso is good, BKB is good, AC is good. Um, Orchid Orchid's pretty good too. What was that build people did for a while? Jim Ben Dota, rest in peace, Jim Ben. Um, where he built Battle Fury on Ricky, I think. I think he did something similar with Bounty, where you walk up to people and cleave them in a creep wave and just own them. Well, Battle Fury Bounty used to be like the build. Yeah. Like, probably like seven or eight years ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but yeah. I do remember you would, like, Bounty was like a, a pretty hard yeah. character. You get like a, a Battle Fury and a Butterfly and shit. That. I had a great game six months ago where for some reason I just picked Bounty Hunter Boss 1 and I went 28-0 and or something crazy <laughs> like that. <laughs> it's a, it, it's probably one of the best pub stomping yeah. heroes in the game yeah. just because like, if you're not, if you're not prepared, you really can. Just game. Yeah. Uh, bounty. Well, yeah, the Battle Fury, Ricky, you would walk around in Viz with the Battle Fury, you'd get them in a creep wave, you'd pop your tricks of the trade shit, and you'd just kill everything. It was so dumb. Yeah, that that might have been the older tricks of the trade. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was Which, a while back. I can't, I, can't, I can't remember how it works, to be honest. It, it used to be the ult. So, I can't remember what Jimben what was died different? from, but yeah, he, he passed away, wow, apparently just only three fallen. years ago. Poor lad. Play yeah. Dota with him from time to time. He's a nice guy. Silly builds. It's funny because right, he... the... Go on. I was just going to say something boring about Dota. Go on. No, no. Go on. I, wanna... I was, was going to say, something. Bounty Hunter has his axe finished, so now's the time. Now, now is the timing. Indeed. To go for gaming. I mean, I'd like it if he got a BKB. That would be pretty hype. That is always good. Um, I guess the other thing is Kanda, maybe? Kanda is really coming. Know. It is Kanda. Kanda is good. Kanda. See, this is what you end up doing as Nyx. 
You use your ult, you wander around, you don't have Dagon yet. Can he get this kill? He's, no. he's bloody not going to get it. Oh, and now, and now he's Eagle dead. is in trouble. He doesn't have his E either. Unfortunate. What a steal by Bass. Brilliant. That's, yeah, f flawless. Someone's courier. Actually, when you're you thinking about it, he was ready. The Oracle was it literally TPing in. He had enough foresight to know that Oracle would get the save. Very, so get, very cool. Interesting. Get the LT That's to why he's a good TI heel. champion. That is why he's a good TI champion. He was on. Oh, I forgot what are they called? The tryhards or the sweats? Like, what were they called? Team, uh, team Spherical. Team Spherical. No, no, no. no. It it's no. too hot for Dota. Too hot, too hot for Dota. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I thought sweaty or tryhard. That might have just been their game style. <laughs> it's just because you're a hater. Just because you, you, you were ditched with Chrono. <laughs> We we have a lovely team rapport now, you know. We've got we've got a solid squad. We're like a we're like a we're like a Burnley. Which we are shit, but you know we love our team. Hello. Nice stun. There could definitely be a save coming in from Time Twister. It's come pretty early. early. And now Dorsey is just going to do this. The the artillery begins. Yeah. And the problem for him is if the fight ends before before uh, everyone else on oh. his team dies, he's going to get eagle here. Bounce. So it's a one for one. Oh, could get jam jar here. He's definitely going to get him. Bump. Jam jar down. Bump. Time for oh, dead. It it's is pretty, hilarious. It is funny. I can get I can get why people build it. Yeah, but you just need to build like one lotus. I mean, I, I, I'm not being <laughs> funny, but Oracle, our Lotus well. or our Oracle, like when we played earlier against it, Oracle spent pretty much his entire time just removing uh, track, and it just rendered this build completely useless. So they have it in their power to defeat this yeah, but will they very expensive build. Or, I don't know. Well, Eagle just keep building Dagon because he's done so much around the map so far. Yeah, this this is this is the first time he's had the Dagon finished, right? Yeah, now he's got it. That so he, maybe he will has impact. Will have Hex impact doesn't it. have blink. Oh my god, what are they doing? Oh, um, why would you go blade mail first? Oh my god. Trouble Goodbye, for eagle. eagle potentially. Oh wait, they got the team coming. The the non blink axe. He's here. He, he was already stunned. The Look at that initiation. Completely off the mark. They're trying to get Dorsey, but it's not worked out. Soups is just hooking the air. Don't know what that was. Oof, the AA gets out. He needs to oh, run. Next. Oh, TP straight away. God. Here's a bit of a, a, an intelligent game at best. Yeah. Yes, Chairman. It is just about yeah, efficiency yeah. play. What's the next <laughs> Yeah, I tried to TP, but I could not see him in time. <laughs> I miss Steve. <laughs> uh, now we've got Steve boring so old UK Steve. Yeah, now we got. Steve is. Steve is for for a UK Steve. He's pretty excited. He but. is. Yeah. You never know what you're gonna get. He's... He's so Jamjar doesn't know that you don't need to use your Berserker's Call to get the creeps to aggro. You can click on enemy heroes. I think you can even There's something else you can click on and it works as well. I can't remember what. Oh, you can click on any visible enemy creeps. I think. And it will aggro. No, just any any visible enemy hero. Yeah, it's working. Is creeps. it not creeps? So, no, I don't think it's creeps. Because otherwise, every time you, you click, you just do it anywhere on the map. This is one thing that I'm, I'm, I'm not good at anyway. in, in the mid lane. It's. Uh, Ventured bloody hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Anonymous, type de 4 dollars and 20 cents. Et ya. Boleir, de no if you remember me, but just wanted to say hi after seeing your video. Name is Rubina when Binon HRT for almost a year now. Happy to see you still in joy, still have the cord T5 meet and greet photo, visage tirant la langue. Merci, Ruby. Alright, crack on. Lovely. Yeah, one thing I've seen all these pro mid laners do is if they want to grab the creep, creep, creep aggro and they can't see the opposition mid laner because they haven't got a ward or something, they will like A click a lad in another lane. And then quickly flick back to their lane to get the free pack. I can't do that. I can't move my camera that far. Uh, we got a smoke. We got a smoke, and they know where they are because they just did Roche. Chud glasses. 
very slow phylactery has paused for the Kaya and Sanj. They're gonna look at, they're gonna think about Roche. I think Michi can 100% carry this game. Um, certainly. Oh, goodness. Oh, who is Ratchet gonna be found? No. They're gonna be able to just do this Roche. <clears throat> you can do it on the top of your screen. Apparently so. I thought you had I didn't, to, have, I didn't, I I didn't you had to be able to see because, them. Because otherwise, like, if, if there's an illusion based here, you could just A click the real one wherever. Also, if you didn't know where any of them were, you could do it and you would just beeline towards them. Yeah. That feels, that feels I, I, like. I think they I mean think if you said, can if see you, them. I think he's saying if you have vision, you don't need to, like, move yeah, the camera across. Yeah, once they have illusions, like, like, how does this work? So, with illusions, when you click on them at the top, it won't, like, portrait to them. It won't show you their inventory. But if they're on, if they're in your vision, you can use them at the top of the map to aim them. Yes. Right. Okay. Well, that makes life. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Eagle is on the hunt. Nothing will be He's achieved. Going to find Ratchet. It's very useful for me because I'm the, the laziest warder mid lane. I'll, I'll just never buy any wards. <laughs> People are always begging me to take wards off. I'm just, uh, I'm a traditional mid laner. I just turn up and, uh, you know, it's a it's a good old fashioned scrap. You treat it like it's a 1v1. Yeah. It's like when I'm playing support. I I'm, I never block camp. I never D ward camps. Because that's not the traditional game. Not honorable. Not honorable. Yeah. You sound like Mally's bro. Oh shit, nice call. They're gonna surely get Dorsey here. Dorsey down. It's actually tech because I've been watching. I've been watching Tekken streamers, oh, and I fucking really? love how they call some characters honourable and some dishonourable. Oh, and it's always really? whichever, whichever character's beating them is dishonourable. Oh man, I think that's because dishonourable character. I mean, that's I kind of like us, that. notes, you know. That's if, funny. If we're, if we're playing, if we are playing Arc Warden, like uh, yeah. people, and, and like someone's dubbing, like you, you think they're a god. Mm -hmm. But if they're on the other team, you think they're a little sweat sack. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. King is most dishonorable, actually. <laughs> what's, what's wrong with King? Uh, he's just a lad who does a lot of fucking annoying grabs, and to defeat what, grabs, what, what he has to like King specific like? inputs. He's, he's a lion, like, isn't he? He's, he's a lion, like, lad, yeah. Okay. Or Jaguar. Oh, what? What? Big AL. Big AL, dude. Mitchie's dead. But he's got the age. God, I can't remember who I played back in the day. I played Tekken 5 on like my PSP. I have been tempted to get Tekken 8. It does look very fun. I but... played Tekken 1 in the arcade. That's the last time I played it, I think. They're, just, they're sort of like the CSGO lads, you know, where they're actually... They're all degenerate gamblers. They're all fucking screaming their nuts off. That you just wouldn't... <laughs> you wouldn't really get, like, a League or a Dota event, you know? It's like the darts of... of exactly, of it's like the darts. <laughs> it really is like the darts. We did some stuff with the fighting game community when when me and Slacks did Steam Remote Play a couple of times, and those guys were fucking hilarious. They were really funny, and they loved yeah. um, the bants. You know, they're very bantsy boys. Just oh, for God's sake! It was everything was wrong about that. Get rid of the fucking quelling blade and get some dust. Jam jar, you make me want to vomit. <laughs> Did you also like he uh, he blinked on the spot and then <laughs> the one he called he called without blinking and then blinked afterwards yeah. to him once. That was it. It was a good combo. This game is uh, sending me to sleep. I've got so I've got a cold and one of the things I've got is like a scratchy throat. It's not sore. Mm. It's those, just are like, very, those are very annoying. Very annoying. Scratchy all the time. Yeah. But the worst thing is when I try to sleep, it's just like there's a tiny man in my throat tickling it. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> so I'm just nodding off and I get a really tickly throat. So it's like, ugh. <laughs> but it's not you like I can that, cough. Mate. What? Just, just, just have a shot of the kilo or some shit. Just numb it up. <laughs> no, I don't think that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how... How hard do you think this is going to be, right? So, later in the year, me and my mates are going to do a fundraiser walk thing where we want to walk 30 miles in a day. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, that's quite... God jam, Jar! This is abysmal! Bast is getting really aggressive here. How how hard do you think 30 miles in a day is 30, going to be? 30 is, 30 is quite doable. It would take you... We you thinking about uh, 11 to 12 hours? It, it is entirely about on what you're walking along. Like, I think it, if, if, you could probably do it in like a, a good 7 and 8, right? Actually, probably a little bit. Bearing in mind we're yeah, if it, if it, my age. Really, if it's like I think it's 12 or 30 river. hours. 12 or 30 hours along like flat, good paths. Mm. That's if it's uh, either like off, off, off the beaten trail or hillocks, it's gonna be a bit rough at times. And yeah, it's just uh, being really strict about pace. Like you, never, you never go fast where, at the beginning. Never slow down go. near the end. Does he just track him? He's already tracked. Doesn't need to. Yeah, yeah, but he gets the procs. Oh, he oh, does. Yeah, was, Very was cool. cool down there. Oh, was it okay? Um, wh wh where are you doing it between? Um, sort of, it's, it's somewhere near Winchester and Bournemouth, and we're going right. to walk, um, to Bournemouth in time for, we're, we're hoping a game. Yeah. So, if it's an evening game, obviously we can make that with time to spare. If it's an afternoon game, we're going to have to set off very early, probably about 5 a.m. Yeah. Um, to get there, but, um, the lads are determined to do it in a day. It's, it's I was like, doable. we could it's, do it it's, it's, def it's definitely doable. Yeah. The, the analysis will be, is there a is there a path or paths between those two that is nice to walk on? So there is. We've looked into it, and it's not like we'd have to just be on a fucking motorway the whole way or something. Like, don't want to stroll yeah. on the M3 for <laughs> down to what, Port Southampton. Yeah. Do you know what the longest you have walked in a day is? No idea. You must have done, like, a decent few, like, you know, I More mean, than ten. Some yeah, when I was before. younger, I'm sure I had no idea. Yeah. I have no idea. I mean, you know, I, I was in the cadets and I was in the scouts and all that, so I'm sure I've done plenty of walking, but it's just I can't remember when the last time I did it. Yeah, good shoes. That's the thing for sure. And I'm gonna get in some uh, some walking uh, practice, if you like, some yeah. fitness stuff. Oh Paul's dear. Glass is being hunted. Storming Eagle, very rapido oh, with Dorsey's the pastry. dead. Oh, swing and a miss. I don't think anyone knows how to win this game. <laughs> yeah, if you have to start really early, it's going <laughs> to blow you too. And, it, and you have to do it on... It would be ideal to do it on a good day, but if you're just selecting a random day... Then you could get shafted by it being incredibly hot, too wet. See, I've been told it's, it's the nipples that are the issue, not the chub rub. Yeah, I think it's a combination. Um, I mean, even things like your trousers that you wear all the time and you think are really comfortable, turns out when you walk in them for 30 miles, yeah. you want to yeah. kill yourself. So yeah, it's, it's very difficult. So what I'm going to do is obviously it's a way off, so we're, I'm going to build up to it. Get some clobber and try various things out and see how it goes. Might just do it in the nud, you know, it might be the most comfortable. <laughs> it's alright for our ancestors. Honestly, the the cyclists might be good people to talk to. Mm. Like Steve Steve XD, long distance cyclist. Yeah, that's true. We'll who, the... who saw that coming, is, by is, the way? Is that transferable to the long distance walking? I think it's a lot of friction. No, but the... It, it's, it's a lot less pressure on... The, on the basics of, of body care is going to be something they're going to be very experienced with. I, I know, but my point is is that the challenges that you encounter in walking along this are they're, they're very, very different into cycling. But I don't think there's any, any that cross apart. Eagle! God, that was fatigue. close. I mean, if I'm walking along distance, it will be... My 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 feet would be the main the main issue. I have to have good feet. Feet are the one of the main issues for cyclists because okay, you're only enough. pushing. I, mean, uh, I, I don't really know what what is required for cycling, feet. but good shoes was was not generally in, from from what I thought and, and, and particularly important. Some uh, you're not, you're not like winding Sadly, out the they are actually one of the most important bits. Yeah, it's proper cycling shoes. If you try and do it in trainers, you will wreck your feet. So Amos says, some friends of mine did Southampton to London in a single day because they used to walk home from ch nights out from Southampton to Chandler's Ford. So Chandler's Ford is where we're going to be starting. Um, so yeah, 
that's that's where we're going to be starting and then we're going to go from there to Bournemouth so it, it's not a bad route it's like a straight shot have you guys tried stop being pussies and picking up heavy things on the floor instead what well on Bob mate what Bob, all Bob does nowadays is he just comes in <laughs> says something says something mean and you know just it's true whatever never contributes anything it's true you really you're really becoming the lawyer that you dream to be a eh? A bell end. Yeah. But you're not even smart, like Saul. You're just shit. <laughs> did you see the did you see the quote earlier? Grumpy posted it. We got a command for it. This guy <laughs> said, Man, you're Ar Acon three, but you cannot even play against a Herald, mate. You need your party of five. Well let's get into a <laughs> lobby and let's make some content. I can one V eight you all. What about that? <laughs> Perian Flax, Mr. Discord ESL whatever. I mean no harm. At least it is some good content, don't you think? DM PM me and we're on. Did you DM and PM in? <laughs> no. Well, why not? Well, it is just a bit of fun, mate, and good content. Who's the most tilted lad you think you've ever come across in, in gaming? Because uh, I have, I have <coughs> one lad that I remember Pause. forever. Pause. Pause. No, I'm oh, Jack, what are they doing? They're just pushing just the perishing. out in the open. Mitchie's in trouble now. He's got to pop, pop his BKB and yeah, there's not really much that's come up. Don't go back in, Mitchie. Get out. Get out. Dyer's top tower. Time twists are very dead. Most tilted lad in gaming. Yeah, I know I know who Most my Most tilted is. lad in gaming. That you've you personally come across, because I remember the we were playing... playing that. We were playing a game of Dota 2. Yeah, Nahas Mafia is very close. <laughs> oh. You were playing a game of Dota 2 with, with a lad from the Discord? No, it was a lad on the enemy team. Okay. And this was back when you did you had unlimited pauses. Mm. And we were winning the game, and I remember he was a life stealer and he was rushing. He was screaming us in all chat all game. And then he started pausing. And he just started spam pausing, so we couldn't progress. And it took us like two hours to complete that game and all of his team abandoned except him and he just kept pausing and none of us were willing to abandon and give up Jesus. so we kept playing in like the the pico second would be uh, we'd be allowed i've never forgotten that lad and he kept saying play me in a lobby 1v1 i'll fuck you up like between every pause <laughs> and we just kept we just stuck to it i always remember that fucking <laughs> lunatic Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. oh the i just spawn guy is a good answer yeah, oh, yeah. But I, I I understand that pain. Rust is a frustrating as fuck game. Yeah. You could just you just log on after a hard day at work and you just get you log on, everything you have is gone. And then you go outside and try and rebuild something and la some lads just do it. It is it's bullshit. It to be is fair, bullshit. that is not actually what was happening in that game. What was happening was he wouldn't leave my fucking house alone because we were streaming it. <laughs> and he was just knobbing around outside naked, so I shot him. He obviously had a sleeping bag nearby. I just spawned. I just spawned! And he came back in. Very cross. Yeah, the, the, we wouldn't have Boscan without one of the unhinged dope players we played That's against. That's true. Yeah. Which was... I, I don't think I should repeat it. Um, but something about dogs. And, yeah, Bob's already, Bob was already and, disgusted and in doing, chat. And doing things to dogs. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was a nut. I don't like seeing this axe with just brown boots. You kind of want the phase boots so you can muscle through the crowd. I, I, I like I like phase or bots. Bots, I mean, yeah, like... but you can't. I mean, this lad went fucking Vanguard, Blade Mail, Blink, so he was way behind. Three dunks in a 40 minute game. It is it is about what I expected from a lad called Jam Jar, so. Props to him for being consistent. Do you know the, the real actual crime of this game? Uh, Storming Eagle, many levels of Dagon. Level 5 now. No, no shard. No shard. No. And shard is the only thing that actually enables this Dagon build. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the lads just don't really understand what they're doing. No. And I can always guarantee Eagle is not following a guide. Because <laughs> okay. for some reason... This is my least favorite thing about this this anti guide vendetta, which started off as an anti tort vendetta, <laughs> yeah, that's which really I think is, is. Is, is reasonable. 
the anti-guide nonsense is not acceptable. I You're not good enough to not have a guide. You don't know better than a guy making the guide. Sorry. So, my, my issue with the guides is not... It, it was literally just I don't like tort, so it was that. And kind of funny. Is the adherence to it at all cost. That's the problem. I, I know, but that's, that, that's the whole reason why there's a, there's a fucking, like, core items list in every guide. They don't look at is it. All, in 99% of games is correct. In 99% of games, you're going to be building Link, Blade Mail, uh, um, Vanguard yeah. on Act. There's no, there's no question to that. I agree, but my issue is a lot of the time, the lads will just be like, you just need this one item. And they're like, oh, the guide said blah. So it does lead to situations where what could be a relatively routine situation turns into shit because they just I know, follow I the that, guy. I don't think that the prob I don't think the solution is to remove the guy. The solution no, is I to agree. Learn. Which is why we say you just need to. No, the lads, the lads will rather say, "Use oh, a no, guy." Oh, they call. Axe cannot do this fighting. No, here. he can't do the fighting. Oops is, Oops is going to be okay here. Eagle doing a lot of damage here. Can they get soups? They're gonna get soup. It's a one for one, but it's an hour two. Uh, Bouncy is now going bot on top of his face. But he's mad. He really just. Oh, he did get BKB actually. He does. He did. But he's he's very committed to this uh, win base. Can you uh, do you guys want to click on Luna and figure out what is very wrong with her items right now? Okay. Cut, wait. Cut. Uh, I, I I wanted to guess one of the items. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna say, isn't it to do with the disassembling right, I've, I've... of a thing? It 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 very much is. Oh, I'm gonna have to click now. Oh wow, two morbid masks. Two morbid masks. Bit of a tower. bit of a lifesteal gamer. Um, Dyer's top tower has fallen. It's not the end of the world, but it is a it is a it's quite a significant loss of money. I'm not gonna say tort is a knob. I'm gonna say I am not a fan and in my opinion have a decent reason and it's nothing terrible he's not i'm sure he's not a bad guy but it was enough to piss me off and so that's it really i just don't like him in terms of his guides his guides are he just follows pro track or whatever I yeah guess. so if, if you want if you want to know what pros are building on a hero then just look at Torts. yeah guides. it's not like he's i just think i don't think immortal fates guides are particularly special either it's just going to tell you the basic items and the basic concepts and what to do to get started. But You wish Plague yeah. would call people fucking noobs more. He does occasionally. But he tends to be a bit nicer, Bob, because he's from the south, a good part of the country. Yeah, I, I think Plague's, Plague's nice, niceness uh, also depends on how many in-house these cast. Yeah, it has limits. Hey. I think it's some like item decisions. It is just like he obviously doesn't know you can just send mom. It's not a, it's not a personal flaw on this guy that he doesn't know that. I think it's it's shit that's happening in a team fight that frustrates me because they're always so close to success. Whereas this, you can't be angry at this sort of thing. Do you know I uh, I really had to dive into my Zen uh, recently. I got <laughs> tossed in. I got tossed in as Drow by my tiny player. <laughs> and as I landed, oh. I got echo slammed. And I didn't. I was like, did I fuck up? How did I get in there? And I realized, oh my god, I got tossed in. I said, oh, that unfortunate. That's all I said. <laughs> and apparently, that was like the tiny tossed me was expecting me to like scream at him. He was so happy that I was just just confused. Was I in that game? I think I think there are some there are some moves which are so baffling and take you soft guard you don't even know no can't, exactly you, you can't just, be angry just surprised. because you don't know what happened like sometimes I, I like fed is is one of the biggest morons i've ever known but I, I i'm not even angry with him a lot of the time because I, i'm so confused about what's just happened i am pretty brainwashed because i do find fed fucking hilarious i just uh, I oh i thought fed, you said I, ted Ted, I love finding you hilarious as well, Ted. But I Fed thought you is... were saying I was one of the biggest morons you've ever known. That's why I said no, 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 no Fed, Fed. Oh, Fed, FedEx, FedEx. He is so fucking crazy. I, I just... think some of the stuff that he does, I'm like, he must be doing this for content. Like, there's no. No, he does. When he, when he tries, is actually, does. it's actually so nice. But um... he he just gets bored with what he's doing and yeah, decides yeah. to do something insane. But him, it means him that... and Matthew are cut from the same cloth. It's like a nice, like, palette cleanser, you know? I do a ton of games with the lads.
bit sweaty. We gotta fucking grind through every game because it's three immortals, four immortals on the enemy team. Very He's tough. So fed and fucking random shit happens. Yeah, the game doesn't matter and it's over. Immortal games and fed games, which is enjoyable. Yeah. Grumpy says that Fed is one of the most intelligent beings to grace the earth. Interesting. I don't think it's his intelligence. I, I, I actually it's don't the, even doubt that he's intelligent. I don't doubt just, that. I just think he has no patience. I think he's, just, he, he's a fucking high-functioning sociopath, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I am intrigued by the fact there's doors he's going up and hitting buildings, but what do I know? There we go. Purge that track. Oh, hello. Ooh. I think, given that there wasn't... Oh, dear. There wasn't really someone next to Soup there. I'm kind of worried. I guess maybe it's okay. How how long do you think Mitch is going to run oh, both Mott and Mom and Satanic? Yeah, how long do you think he's going to keep this going for? Oh, wow. I'm excited. Is he going to... Can he pop both? He can, right? You can, yeah. <laughs> Nothing happens, but... You'll, you'll hit really fast and life's still a lot, so I can kind of see the genius, but... <laughs> It's not it's not really gonna work. But do you get lifesteal from both when they're both active? Well you get lifesteal from both passively, I just don't think they stack. I don't know, honestly. I don't think they stack. The lifesteal? Is it diminishingly yeah. or No, the lifesteal would stack, yeah. In which case maybe this is the well <laughs> this is all of this is against the AA. Play. We should we should <laughs> add that in. Play. It, it's against AA, so all of this is not that useful. The fact that he's like, well, a six slide now, better get bots, is is criminal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably has to be a, a Silver Edge as the final item. I don't think you win this game without Silver Edge. Because Peter Jakobsen uh, is hard to kill. It's Viticus. I watched uh, the new Ghostbusters movie on, Any good? The, on the weekend as well. No, not really. It was it was a solid six out yeah. of ten. I mean, the previous they, they, one they was just, like they just okay. weirded out all of the old all, all of the old lads. Yeah, it looked um, like that. Um, Dan Aykroyd. Um. Uh. For everyone apart from the basically the crux of the story is Harold Ramis' grand yeah, grandkids, was, his, like his grandkids. Yeah. So basically, everyone apart from everyone apart from is it. I just um, thought it was. It was. I watched the first it was, one. It was like. Also, eh. the, oh man, the plot was so shit. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. It was so bad. It, yeah, it was. It was also one of these movies which. Um, I, I did you see the 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 most recent Ant Man? Movie yeah. Where where Kang is like meant to be this fucking super boss guy? Who's yeah, like yeah. Ult ultimately powerful. If you think about what Kang accomplishes in the movie, he just he just blows it. Like for yeah. like three hours, Kang just fucks up. He does nothing. Which, which doesn't that doesn't doesn't make the the ending satisfying because they just beat some bozo. And this is kind of the same thing in 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 um also Mythbusters, Ghostbusters, because <laughs> like there's this big big dark ass villain who's like fucking insane, and then he kills a lad who owns a vape shop just randomly. Right. Just kills a lad who owns a vape shop. And he does nothing else in the entire movie. <laughs> he just fucks it. Shit, I think I sniffed a bit of Bombay mix up my nose. Just <laughs> <laughs> livening up the old sinuses. Alright, if you'd like to guess how many flesh sheep Pudge has. 50 minute game, 27 kills. Six. How how many flesh sheep? I'm gonna guess six. Has? Oh, it's at the bottom of my screen. I I swear to God, I wasn't even looking down. <laughs> it I is isn't correct. Six. Not, People are gonna think I was jinxing. I would not jinx. Cheating. I was not cheating. I assure you. It's I mean, that's that's game. why. It's not much. Eagle is TPing straight in here. <laughs> Super Duke was healed through all. Yeah, I could get in here. That was a missed hook on a stunned yeah. target. Jamjar, he's just walking about in the ice, so he can't do he's anything. Got, he's got BKB. Oh, Jamjar, man. He's got BKB. You are just shit. He's got BKB. Hmm. Hey, is he gonna buy back? Mitchy. I think you do need to buy back. Okay, here he comes. Here's Jamjar. It's not Jamjar's moment. He's gonna walk through the ice again. Gets been cancelled. BKB. Oh, he's gonna blink. He's BKB'd. He's still Cancel taking more damage. This, again. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is <laughs> hopeless. 
Oh, oh my god. Oh, he's out. Oh, oh there's a blink core. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's CG, it's CG. Uh, Jam Jam, what the fuck was that, dude? I'm gonna say it was dreadful. And you would be right. Call it. Call it. Call it. Mm. Yeah, clip that. Clip Jam Jar, please. Clip Jam Jar. Oh. Well, the bounty <laughs> eggs won. Ratchet tried to charge the Lunar and immediately got his charge cancelled by the Nimbus that he was already standing in. Fuck me. There's a hook. So, these are just... It's like he's trying to miss. It's just, you've got to land one of these eventually. You've got one lucky one of the loot who's like, There you go, lads! <laughs> Classic Hoz Pudge. He's just going to go up and fucking I like hit. that... We, like, Hoz used to just have, like, the Hoz 10, which, 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 which meant Hoz having 10. a poor performance in CS. Yeah. But now Hoz is just the, the, the namesake for anything shit. Yeah, it's, true. It's the Hoz anything. It's the Hoz anything. He does invite. But this, he, this he, sort of situation he, 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 he doesn't this lend itself now, more to like, Gibson's. Yeah. Well, see, Gibson is only only has well, he has two things. He has defending the base when you don't need to. Of course, you have a Gibson. I forgot. First blood is plagues. That's mine. Yeah. PFP yeah. and deaths in uh, very aggressive farming positions yeah. are plague deaths. I can't remember what the other. There's a Cine as well. It's there there a is a, there is another pulling a Cine, Yeah. What is it? Anyone in chat remember? Not a big deal. It's not. It's not, you, it's you, not the, as the iconic as Gibson. pulling the Cine is, is the devil's advocate. Uh, where you just uh, <clears throat> you just you just be, be an ass. Isn't that one where you just start quoting random stats, or is that also the Hoz? That's no, that's the Hoz. That's the that's Hoz. The Hoz. Oh, isn't it? Isn't it great Bloodseeker game, guys? Like oh, that's <laughs> the city. That's the city. <laughs> Great X game into dog shit performance. Yeah, because there'll be like three well, heroes. He does, that... he does love the we've got a great first blood team here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. A last ditch smoke. Can they make it work? They're going for soups, probably one of the hardest things they can try and kill here. We've got Storm Eggy go around the back. They no can get him. Up. Yes, he doesn't have Vendetta actually. They can't get him. Time Twister to start it. They've been revealed. Jamjar? What is going on here? Jamjar? Wait, Jamjar has an A on disc? Are you fucking kidding me? He's gonna, oh, no, he's gonna get through pure pathetic No, he gets him! <laughs> bloody got him! Oh, Mitchie is dead. Mi Mitchie? Mitchie's alive! Mitchie! Holy god. Uh, but the rest, the rest is They're in trouble. Tough. Mitchie's flying away. Has he got the Aviana's feather? Yeah. That looks so fucking sick. They, they, they could have made it like spider's legs or something where there's a bit <laughs> of an animation, like some wings or something. It's just a lad floating. That's so silly. Again, from the, the We Say Things podcast, the, the Valve just can't be bothered to code <laughs> the yeah. sort of announcer back stuff. Pretty similar to this. This can't be arsed. I mean, they were like, we're not dedicating any coding time to this. Which is fair enough, because... It is. Valve but programmers you know, you know, are very expensive. Enough, they were making something else, but, you know. They've made CS2, I guess, which is just repackaged CS2. CSGO. So, Soups needs to learn the trick that I saw in that vid that Boxy did about how to play Pudge. And once I started doing this more... He really does up this your hook one rate. simple trick. Yeah, it literally is. Pudge enemies hate this one simple trick, which is when they know you're going to hook them, don't throw it at where they are. Because any human player is going to try to dodge it. Throw it left or right. And if they've gambled on juking left or right when the hook is sent, you'll be surprised how often you get them and they literally walk right into it. Because they're going to gamble. When they see the hook coming, oh. well, alright, Eagle isn't going to gamble, but Eagle's a unique individual. Here comes Jamjar again, by the way. Blink up. He's pondering. Soups is untouchable. 
They're using all their racks to a punch. Oh, there's the call on the AA. Pops an A on disc. BKB not helping here. Bingus in trouble, trying to get away. They get me the Jakobsen. Jam jaw. Why are we running away? They get jam jaw. They're getting the doing? buildings. They're getting the buildings. He has satanic. Oh my God. Why is the dire team running away? Mitchy. Satanic this, available. This might, be, this might be one of the worst games we've seen. <laughs> it's pretty terrible. One building left. What is Ratchet doing? He's making space. Someone punish that. Get Dorsey. <laughs> oh, Seuss is just untouchable right Eagle's now. Eagle's in trouble. Time Twister's in trouble. Mitchy. Mitchy's in trouble. Mitchy. Get him, Mitchy. Do it. Mitchy pops satanic. Here it comes. The big comeback fight. They've been mega crept. He's dead. <laughs> Thank God. GG. GG. There are. There might be seven or eight people who said that was a GG. It, I would... From their perspective, it was it was a scrap. I'll say it was a BG. It was that. not. It wasn't a particular GG to spectate, but it was scrappy. Oy vey. Oof. And Jam Jar, bloody tried. Yeah, well, we well done. Well done, the Jam. Well done, the Jam. Got it. Got it. Got in a Jam, uh, and there was a not a jar large enough to contain it. Uh, just lo jam. looking at that item build up, the Vanguard into Blade Mail. Blink finally coming out at the 25 minute mark. Mm -hmm. A little bit, little bit late. Uh, looking at the damage breakdown. Dorsey doing slightly less than Spectre, but it's very close. Ratchet managing a whopping 7.5k damage. That's impressive. That is impressive. Good lord. Went, went, for, went for support stuff. Went for Pipe, went for Vlad's. Very boring. Christ. Pipe Vlad's Glimmer Yules. Grow a pair that's, of balls, you're a spirit breaker. That's the support I want on my team. Disgusting. Give me, give me, a, give me Vlad's builders, man. Ugh. Right, <laughs> cheers, lads. GG's. I shall see you anon. Peace, Peace out. Uh, thank you, Eri, for organizing the in-houses as ever, and thank you, all of you, the humble viewers at home, who partake for our amusement and edification. I shall see you all tomorrow. Peace out.